silly, weird religious paraphernalia. I have some like Scientology DVDs. They have lots of it for you. Yeah, yeah. Now, would you have talked to them had you gotten to the door in uh, time? Maybe it depends on my mood because I mean, right. really, if, if you're busy, only, then yeah. I mean, it's it just because like if I'm talking to them, it's really just to mess with them. So you know, the last uh, Jehovah's Witness who came to my door is probably a few. It was a few months ago, may, maybe as far as a year ago, and he ran away. Um, really? Are yeah. you exaggerating? No, I mean he, you know, turned around and <laughs> I walked away cl- cl- quickly. Okay. Yeah. So here are the uh, the ten things, and then coming up, we'll tell you about the newest Edward Snowden NSA related revelation. It's called Monster Mind. I don't know if you've heard about this yet, but we'll tell you more uh, in moments. The toll free number is, sounds like a board game. The toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free, and you can join us online on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Number one on the ten things that sucked about growing up a Jehovah's Witness: no birthdays, no Christmas. Or any other holidays. All the other kids are doing fun Thanksgiving drawings of turkeys by tracing their hands. That looks like so much fun. It's too bad I have to go sit in the principal's office while you guys do fun Thanksgiving arts and crafts. My mommy and daddy are in a cult, so we don't celebrate any holidays. None. Not even my birthday. God says birthdays are bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know... I, I feel like it's, it's sort of taking it too far. I don't really believe one day is more important than another day. Um, Quakers are known for, uh, in Pens- in uh, Philadelphia, they, it was said that if you wanted to do some shopping on Christmas Day, you'd have to go to the Jewish shops or the Quaker shops in order to get that done because they'd be open. Because mm. it's not one, one day is not different than another to them. But I'm not going to rob the fun of childhood uh, from my son Jack because, uh, you know, that's that's what I think. And certainly, the food's great. I'm not going to complain about the food. Somebody wants to give me a present? Fine. Um, I understand that uh, gift giving is a fine thing to do, and it's a fine time as far as I'm concerned to give it uh, because we tend to be down um, around the holidays. What's the distinction between in my life between a holiday and uh you know, what I consider a holiday and what uh, in reality is, not much. Number two, never being able to talk honestly with a friend. Jehovah's Witnesses are commanded to report what is bad. In other words, to snitch on their best friend if they tell them they did something like smoke a cigarette or watch an R-rated movie. you got to be kidding me. During my cha- uh, time, as well, they did that in, um, I remember I was reading a biography about Malcolm X, and uh, you know the group he was involved in. If you, they found out you were smoking cigarettes, they'd beat the hell out of you. Nation of Islam. Yeah, the Nation of Islam. So during my uh, time as a Jehovah's Witness, having a conversation with another witness meant editing out anything that could get me in trouble. And for the Jehovah's Witnesses, a lot of everyday activities, such as buying a lottery ticket or stepping into another religion's church, will get you in serious trouble. You couldn't show anyone, not even your significant other, your true self. For fear of being disciplined by the elders. Number three, and you know, one of the, before we go on, the disturbing things about religion is uh, a lot of organized religion, at least, not all religion, but a lot of organized religion, is that you're living for someone else. Like he's saying here, or she, I'm not sure who's writing this, but uh, it's thoughtcatalog.com is the website. You're, you're living your life based on the strictures and the arbitrary rules that were handed down to you by. Other men, and in some cases, other women. And right. That's... I feel that way almost about almost all religion, though, because it, when you think about it, religion tends to always focus around a belief in the afterlife and that there's something afterlife. So you're not really living your life for yourself. You're living your life based on some kind of belief that there's going to be a life after this life. And so you're not really living for what you have right now. Well, it depends on the uh, it depends on the denomination. For instance, there's the universalists who believe that the unitarians. It, the, well, no, the no. universalists. Okay. Unitarians believe that everybody goes um the, excuse me, unitarians believe that God is not a triune being but in fact a single being. Okay. Um unit, uh, universalists believe that everybody goes to heaven. Have I heard the two words put together? Yes, I feel you like will I hear have. Unitarian okay. Universalist churches. This was a uh, a shotgun wedding in the early uh, 20th century. Essentially, the two churches uh, were having sort of financial troubles and weren't going to make it, or whatever reason they got stuck together. I, I probably should, before I uh, credit the reason, I probably should do a little more reading. Um, but they got stuck together, and they really, um, you know, never were sort of meant to be together. Nonetheless, um, these people believe that everybody goes to heaven, so therefore you don't have them trying to do things to yeah, go to heaven. Point. 
Now, they may a- act differently, like they may run into a hail of gunfire um, out of a foxhole. It may be e- easier to get them to go because I'm going to heaven after this. But you don't have too many life and death situations in life. Um, and mostly people who believe in afterlifes act like atheists when it comes to dying. How well? Yeah, I guess you're you're generally right. Yeah, they look both ways before they cross yeah, the yeah, streets. Exactly. They, uh, <laughs> you know, they put their brakes on when heading towards a large truck. They're very upset when other people have died. They, they, and saying, yeah. congratulating. Yeah. Oh, they went to heaven. They should be. Everything should be his celebration. Indeed. More on the ten things that sucked about growing up. Jehovah's Witness number three: having to go door to door preaching every Saturday and sometimes Sunday as well. I barely got any sleep when I was a witness. I commuted an hour and a half to work each way and worked long hours. I needed the weekends to catch up on my sleep sleep debt, but instead I had to get up at the crack of dawn to go out preaching. The act of knocking on strangers' doors to tell them their religion is wrong and they better change or face God's wrath is bad enough. When you're so exhausted you can barely stand up, it becomes absolute torture, both for you and the person you're trying to recruit into a cult at 9 a.m. on a Saturday. And, you know, I'm just curious. I wonder what the, the rates are of uh, return on investment for this. I mean, obviously, that's not what they're trying to, to do when they decide this. They're not factoring in the amount of gas they're spending or anything like that. But just how many houses do they have to talk to before they get one convert? Is it 1,000? 10,000? How, how many households, do? how many individuals do they have to get to come to the door before they'll actually get somebody to show up at one of their... Uh, what are they? What, Kingdom Halls? I yeah, think Kingdom Halls is what it's called. And uh, you, you also have to wonder how many weirdos do they get? Because, I mean, you know, you're going and knocking. That? What's yeah. That? Yeah, From- you're knocking on people's doors. You're going to get a certain number of, you know, a certain number of the population is mentally ill. And, <laughs> you know, it's hard to hang out with them. And so you're like, oh, yeah, please come to the Kingdom Hall. We're going to have a really great time. <laughs> please and that's tough you know like now you've got all you know you're you're attracting the weirdos hmm. yeah i think you probably have to be a little more enthusiastic about it i made the um mistake of uh telling some jehovah's witnesses uh, that had come to my door at one point that uh you know i respected the religion for the way they acted uh, during you know germany's uh you know, Nazi rule, that kind of thing. I respected the fact that they don't go scaring the bejesus out of people with hell. And there's some things that I... They don't do that? No, there is no hell in uh, Jehovah's Witness world. You okay. just die, which is He's, likely... He does say here, face God's wrath. Is is this person, the author here, misremembering? It's Marcus Escritos at thoughtcatalog.com. Uh, I'm happy to talk about what uh, he thinks God's wrath is, but likely what he means is that you um, are burned, you're thrown into the lake of fire and mm-hmm. burnt up immediately. Okay, so not hell, just a fiery no hell death, which is far. I mean, you Sounds know, better than if hell, you're going to talk about know. a psychopathic father figure, at the very least, he's putting you out of your misery quickly. Well, Instead of what most <laughs> reli- most Christians believe in this country, which is that he in fact tortures you, tortures you for the rest of eternity simply because you don't believe in his uh, mistranslated son's name. Share your thoughts at eight fifty five four fifty free. This is Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate, someone you can trust, who will never betray you? or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? 
These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything that you'd like right here, toll free at 855-453. Maybe you were a Jehovah's Witness and you'd like to, or maybe you still are. Uh, whether you were or still are, we'd love to hear from you. We're sharing from thoughtcatalog.com the 10 things that sucked about growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. So if you want to add your thoughts into this, is this you know is this article accurate? Uh, so far, our author here, Marcus Escritos, has said that... Uh, didn't get to have any fun as a kid. No birthdays, Christmas, or any holidays whatsoever. Had to sit him out if he was at school, for instance. Never had to, uh, was never able to talk honestly with any friend, even a spouse, because Jehovah's Witnesses are instructed to snitch on one another doing naughty things. And uh, there's a lot of, there's a long list of things that they consider to be naughty. Going door to door preaching was apparently pretty uh, frustrating, especially when you're sleep deprived from actually having to make a living on top of all of your religious duties as well. So feel free to add your thoughts in here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Now, uh, if you want to get started with Bitcoin, please go to blockchain.com. Get your first, or maybe not your first, whatever. It's a free Bitcoin wallet. You download their app for uh, Android or iOS-based devices. And you can also, of course, use their web wallet if you don't have a smartphone. Makes it easy to spend Bitcoin at all kinds of places online. Everything from companies as large as Dell Computers to Wikipedia, uh, right down to uh, there's Main Street stores that'll even accept Bitcoin these days. Go to blockchain.com. You can get your first and free Bitcoin wallet right there. We continue on here with thoughtcatalog.com and their story about uh, why it really sucked growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. Reason number four. Having to fill out field service reports. Jehovah's that sounds very official, a field service report. Well, God has to review some sort of paperwork, right? <laughs> 
Jehovah's, don't imagine God's reviewing it. Jehovah's Witnesses will have to fill out, or have to, rather, fill out monthly reports that detail how much time they've spent preaching, how many books and magazines they've distributed to people, and how many Bible studies they've conducted. While the slips are not shown to anyone but the elders of the congregation, other witnesses take note if you haven't been out preaching with them during the regular times. The elders, on the other hand, do have access to your performance records. They will encourage you if you lack behind the national average or if you lag behind the national average, which was about 10 hours per month when I was a member of the religion. 10 hours to do what? To do all of those things, to uh, spend, you know, distributing books, preaching, conducting Bible studies, various different activities. Is this like the Google of religions? Do they have like analytics sessions where they're like, <laughs> we're down five points today on our, <laughs> like. <laughs> well, that sounds like a sales job to me. Sure. Uh, sales meetings. If you had to do five hours a day on um, Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. I don't know if maybe, maybe their Sundays are full. I couldn't. No, they should be. Doing Fridays, I would think, because they're a spinoff of the Seventh Day Adventists. Well, anyway, I think it was I Tuesday know. or Wednesday that they came to my house. So all I know is we got Dave on the line here. We'll continue the list in a moment. He's listening in Fargo. Hey, Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, thanks, guys. Uh, you're talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Just one part of uh, being a kid that sucks when you're a Jehovah's Witness, and uh, I wasn't one, but I know the story pretty well. When I was younger, I would go to a lot of basketball open gyms in a small town not that far from here. And there was a kid that kept showing up for a couple of years at that open gym, and he was by far and away the best basketball player and the best athlete in that school. And he was never on the high school team. He was never on their junior varsity. He was never on their varsity. And we're talking about a high school that probably had 100 kids, 9 through 12. So it could be the best kid on the floor. And then some, obviously, he would have played on the varsity team as a, as a star yeah. if he would have had an opportunity to play. And we were told... I mean, it took me a few times to seeing him and then making the connection. I started to ask, you know, why isn't this kid playing? Well, it turns out he was a Jehovah's Witness. And I guess one of the tenets of either their sect of the religion or their religion in general, because I don't know how it works nationwide, but he was not allowed to be on a competitive team. He could go to open gyms and play for the huh. exercise, but winning and losing wasn't part of what they would allow you to do and well, you start to of course about, not i mean because you know, he scholarships and things like that that would have been awesome yeah you know? but he, of course not i mean he can't do that it's, it wouldn't be fair he's ha he's got special powers granted to him by god and so it wouldn't be fair to the other players if he were playing and using those special powers to win well all i know <laughs> is that if he would have played they would have done a lot more winning i mean i don't know what the tenets of their religion are but uh he was just by far the best kid and i just i think about the opportunities for education. And granted, you can still get an education without a basketball scholarship, but it certainly would be nice to be able to come out of college with uh, the experience of being yeah. able to play at the college level and then not. So have you're saying they squandered his talents because you know he was naturally talented at basketball, and they were squandered because of the religious belief system. Yeah, and I that, I have no problem with down. somebody being convicted by you know whatever that still voice is within you know if somebody feels I shouldn't use my you know, talents to beat other people, then that's fine. But it's when other people tell you how you have to live your life that I think organized religion really kind of comes off the rails. Um, the idea that, uh, you know, God spoke 2,000 years ago, but he's not speaking today. Either he didn't speak back then, and the Bible's irrelevant, or everything he says to you today is relevant too. Hey, it would have been really nice to see the, the kid participate. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks, thanks for yep. the call, man. Appreciate it. Toll-free number here tonight, 855-450-FREE. Maybe you were a Jehovah's Witness at one time and you've left the religion. Do you want to reflect on what your experience was like? Sure, would love to hear from you. Maybe you're still in the religion. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can also add us on to your Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Number, uh, wait, there's a little more to number four. Uh, so number four, which was to fill out paperwork. Being a Jehovah's Witness is like having a second unpaid job that you work on nights and weekends for no pay. If your performance lags on the job, your invitations for dinner and movies suddenly stop. You're constantly judged by everyone else, especially the elders. Now, I'm sure their argument would be that the pay is the uh, satisfaction that you're helping to save people's souls, I imagine. But I guess that's... Uh there's not much to go on when you're looking back at uh, what you consider to be a mistake. It's funny when he said, you know, you're you're always being judged, especially by the elders. I expected him to say, you're always being judged, especially by God. 
You know, no. but no, he said the elders. Number five, not being able to date. Jehovah's Witnesses don't really date. The Jehovah's Witness idea of dating is this. When you're interested in marrying someone, you go out with them, but always with a chaperone. You are never alone, never without a third wheel until you get married, which will usually be less than a year after you've met them. It might sound like I'm describing some sort of weird threesome situation, but trust me, it's much more boring than that. Because No, no I didn't think it didn't sound like that at all. Yeah, because it sounded like a chaperone. <laughs> because when you're a Jehovah's Witness, that also means number six, no sex before marriage. Nothing. At least the Mormons do that weird soaking thing. Jehovah's Witnesses get nothing before marriage, and I mean nothing. After but marriage nobody gets anything before marriage according to the rules. I mean, Presbyterians aren't supposed to have sex before they get married. Mm -hmm. Methodists aren't. I mean, I can assure you that most of the the um, you know, why. Uh, what's well, just because United other Methodist religions have this group. terrible idea, Mark, doesn't mean it's a good idea, right? Like, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, it's it's not unusual. It's not if if you're gonna call culty something that is unusual, then you can't call this one particularly unusual. After marriage, it doesn't get much better since other types of sex, like oral or anal sex, are banned even for married couples. And if you're gay, well, you're doomed to a lifetime of abstinence and loneliness. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. A few more of the things that sucked about growing up Jehovah's Witness. Your calls and thoughts all on the way here on Free Talk Live. Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. This is the Onion Week in Review. Quiet and reserved temp Kevin Bright surprised his co-workers this week when they discovered that the mild-mannered 27-year-old was actually an untalented singer-songwriter. How did I get here? It's probably a tree. Bright, who mostly keeps to himself at work, usually spends his free time embarrassing himself at open mics across the city, and that underneath his meek and soft-spoken exterior is a terrible guitarist with no musical sensibility whatsoever. You see him in the office, he's this quiet, reserved kid, and you would never think, oh, he's got a great voice and a wonderful stage presence, and you'd be totally right. In other news, an Ohio Film Festival graphic designer decides to go with film reels for the O's, and getting grandma into a family reunion t-shirt is a three-person job. The entire the entire 144-minute cut of this week's review is available now for just $11.99 on Laserdisc. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin? Any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com what if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. 
the successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you'd like. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-453. We're talking about... Growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. Now, none of the three of us in the studio here uh, were Jehovah's Witnesses growing up. I was raised as a Presbyterian in the South. Uh, Mark, I don't know if you were. Were you religion at, as a young at a young age? Was it just standard Christian? What are you Christian? talking about? Religion? I know you went to a religious school. <laughs> yeah. But was there Dutch like a Reformed? church that y'all went to? Methodist. Methodist. Okay. Gotcha. The church we went to was Methodist. The school I went to was Dutch Reform. Hmm. And Johnson, were you? Raised? I've been an atheist since about I think four years old, and I was exposed to religion very briefly uh, and embarrassed my family uh, at an Episcopalian church. Now, are there churches out there that actually prohibit people from brushing their teeth? I know that there are some religions where you know you can't like That's if, a if your eye for the internet, if your eyesight goes bad, you know you can't get glasses, that kind of thing. Are there people out there? That I think that there's probably religions out there that uh, they practice, like you know, like the 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 Buddhist monks. They practice forms and they practice like martial arts and stuff. I think mm -hmm. that there are probably uh, religions out there that master the art of the segue. <laughs> 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 yes, well, those religions wouldn't be interested in My Magic Mud now, would they? <laughs> my Magic Mud is, uh, well, it's a tooth powder that works better than your toothpaste. I am confident in saying that because I have been using for My Magic Mud for a couple of months now, I'd say. I started off using it every night, and I continue to use my regular toothpaste during, uh, during the, the other times that I brush my teeth. But in the evenings, uh, for the first week, uh, t 10 days to two weeks, I... Uh, Brush my tooth, teeth with my magic button. Then I went to two or three times a week after that, and it you know I don't wake up in the, anymore feeling that film on my teeth. The back you know my magic mud goes in there and it uh, it's it's charcoal like it you know charcoal binds with uh, things in a water filter and gets all the bad stuff out of water. It binds with things in your mouth and gets the bad stuff out of your mouth. It makes your mouth that much cleaner. It feels polished. And it is polished because it removes the stains that are on your teeth. You can see an immediate difference after one application. And it'll, for me, it removed all the stains in four applications. Also, many claim that uh, they have sensitivity in their, their teeth. My Magic Mud addresses this somehow. I don't know how. Um, also, if you have a problem with the taste of toothpaste, My Magic Mud has no taste. Go listen to uh, <clears throat> excuse me, biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole at MyMagicMud.com, and he will explain a lot of the benefits to you of My Magic Mud and get some clue as to why I will never not have My Magic Mud again, because it is a great, great product. product. It is a great product. Uh, go to also mud.freetalklive.com and watch the great video we've got there for you. I, I liked it and linked to it. It's mud.freetalklive.com. What a great short you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's called My Magic Mud. It catches your attention. Yeah. <laughs> or not a short URL, but a subdomain. I'm there sorry. It's a subdomain, yeah. yeah. Hey, thoughtcatalog.com is the site here with the 10 things that sucked about growing up Jehovah's Witness. If you were a witness or still are, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, maybe you or maybe you didn't have to be a witness. Maybe Can I get a witness? Was. Uh, yeah, the toll-free <laughs> number is 855-450-FREE. You don't have to be, you know, if you're brand new to the show, call in. You can bring up anything that you want here on Free Talk Live at 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. Number seven on the list of 10 things, uh, not being able to have non-witness friends. Jehovah's Witnesses are not allowed to befriend non-witnesses. 
Why would you get close to someone whom God was going to execute at Armageddon? I broke this rule a lot during my 13 years as a Jehovah's Witness, but I always kept my non-witness friends a secret. Um, at high school, I had a, a friend who was a uh, Jehovah's Witness, and um, I didn't even know it for most of the time I knew him. Hmm. But, you know, I so mean, he never tried to save you. Well, at some point or another, it was discovered that he was Jehovah's Witness, and, mm-hmm. um, it, you know, like I asked him about it or whatever, and then he tried to get me to come to uh, Kingdom Hall with him a couple of times before I made it clear I, I'm not going there. Okay. Under no circumstances <laughs> will I be going there. Um, so I, I imagine that, you know, like he was just sort of that same way, like he just wanted to be normal. Can't I just go to school and be normal? Let's go to Alabama Bill, calling in Talladega. Alabama Bill, you're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Mark. Well, howdy, guys. Hey, howdy. What's on your mind? Uh, ah, well, listen, I've been, I was really interested in your conversation today. I've never called before, although I listen quite frequently. Welcome. But this is something that really got me curious. Uh, did I, I just walked in the house whenever you were on and first came on. Did, did one of you guys say you were a former witness? No, the three of us are not. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm thankfully not a former witness, but I'm, I'm not, and neither is anyone else here. Well, it, it matters to me because I have a question to ask of a witness, and well, I just— Ask I it to the universe. Go ahead and just put, it, just put the question out There's there. There's a Jehovah's Witness listening, okay. I can assure you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, look, I've lived in Alabama, I lived over in Georgia— and I've been frequented by Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, maybe a half a dozen different set of witnesses over in Georgia during the 17 years I lived there, and maybe three or four times here back in Alabama. And I enjoy listening to these guys. I really do look forward to it. But uh, here's, here's the problem. They usually come over, and they'll knock on the door on Saturday mornings, I'll wake up after partying all night on Friday. I won't really feel like talking to anybody, but I will. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they, I, here's the problem. I ask them, I say, look, you know, I, I'll, I'll take them in the house and we'll talk. And I'll say, look, I want to talk with you guys again, but how about, you know, calling me ahead of time next time around and so I'll know that you're coming, and I'll be prepared, and, you know, we can really enjoy ourselves. You can put some pants my phone on. Number. They, won't, they will not call. Never. They will not call. Now, I've been wondering, is there some kind of rule where they can't call ahead, or are they just arrogant enough to where they don't want to make an appointment for themselves? Maybe. What, what is I would guess. This is Good wild question. speculation. Um, I've never been called by um, a Jehovah's Witness either, uh, but I have had a few visit. And I would think that the reason would be is probably if they make appointments, they find that people aren't there for them. Um, I mean, sadly, this group is Mm. a group of people that it is okay to make fun of, blow off, treat like they're bad people or whatever um, because of the door knocking mostly. So it's not that they don't have phones or they're not prohibited from using technology. No, they are not Amish. They're Jehovah's Witness. I know when they show up, I kind of wish that it was like Mr. Burns that I had one of those buttons that I could press on my desk and a trap door would open up and just (laughs) See, see, (laughs) they just fall down into it, and it would be a pit pit full of bees. Alabama, Bill, thanks for throwing the question out there. Maybe someone who is or was a Jehovah's Witness could call in. Yeah, I'm curious about that because I do respect the people. All I want is them to be a little polite, as polite to me as why not call first? If you've been asked to call first by someone, why not make a note and do that? Thanks for the call, man. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. Uh, Continuing on here, he sounds like one of those kind of folks that uh, would welcome anyone who came to the door, doesn't? He? Sounds like a heck of a nice guy. Yeah. There, are some fa- there are some fantastic videos on YouTube of people uh, trolling these uh, Jehovah's Witnesses that show up oh, on really? Saturdays. Now, if it's because, funny, because people get really tired of it. I mean, well, if it's funny, then I'm I'm for it. But if it's just cruel, I'm not. for We got to pick a funny one and put it on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter when we oh, get fun, a chance. Uh, yeah. Toll free number here tonight: eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's continue with the list of ten things that sucked about growing up. Jehovah's Witness number eight. Keeping up with their ever-changing, made-up doctrine. When I first became a witness, blood was not allowed to be consumed in any form. Whether well, it was, it, the Bible's clear about that. Whether it was blood pudding or a life-saving blood transfusion. When I left the I religion, don't know that consuming, <laughs> I wouldn't call a transfusion consumption, but I find it interesting that that's, where they, that's the, the verse they get it from, all right? 
So is that one of those things like if you cut your finger or something like that, you got. Mm, I guess you could not you can't, oh. suck on your finger if you cut it. <laughs> that would make you in violation. A blood consumer. Uh, when I You're left going the... straight. To... Oh, wait, there's no hell. <laughs> You're going to the lake of fire. When I left the religion, they had changed the rule to allow for blood fractions. The Jehovah's Witnesses believe, whatever that means. <laughs> one Jeho- tenth of <laughs> a milliliter. You may have a rare steak now. The Jehovah's Witnesses believe that God's organization periodically receives new light from God and their doctrine changes with it. I, I agree yeah. that it's true. It's just interesting that God All just religions to the top re- ones. receive new light so they can change them, so that they can adapt. Toll free because otherwise they'd be gone. 855-450 free. You can share your thoughts here and bring up anything as well on Free Talk Live. More coming up. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads this is an excellent book it is also a little scary because it could very well be true i hope it's fiction and julia moffett calls it a gripping read and the most exciting insightful book this year crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its amazon reviewers calling for a sequel this book is totally worth your time it's well researched liberty oriented realistic gripping and gritty do yourself a favor and don't miss this one get your copy at amazon crashed the death of the dollar by william cooper I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm -hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800 952 5760 That's 800 952 5760 800 952 5760 Hey guys, Mark Claire here, lionsofliberty.com, where we strive to advance the ideas of liberty daily. We bring you the Morning Roar. That's right, every Monday to Friday, we'll have a brand new edition of the Morning Roar, where we provide a roundup of some news stories that you may not find in the mainstream media or even in your typical social media news feed. We find stories that relate to the ideas of liberty and provide you with our liberty perspective on them. Every Monday, we have our longest-running feature, Mondays with Murray, named after the great libertarian Murray Rothbard, where we'll examine an article or an excerpt from his works and help convey his view, along with our little spin as well. We wrap it all up every Friday with Felony Friday, where our own John Odermatt goes out and takes a look at some sort of felony. There's felonies committed every day, you know, whether it's a felony committed by the police, a politician, or even an average citizen. You can find all of this and so much more over at lionsofliberty.com. Advancing the Ideas of Liberty Daily. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever happens to be on your mind. You don't have to call in about the Jehovah's Witness topic. That just happens to be what we brought in, or what I brought in to talk about. Uh, Mark, I know you've uh, brought something to the table tonight involving more parents and kids being arrested. You know, pit, parents being arrested, kids being arrested, uh, being a 10 years old on the subway, etc. we got all kinds of stuff. And, uh, Johnson, you've got, actually got a Jehovah's Witness-related follow-up about some of their belief systems. Of course, you can uh, take control here at 855-450-FREE. As we continue uh, with your calls and thoughts, we've got Kurt calling from Durham, North Carolina, listening to Talk Radio 850. Hey, Kurt. Hey, how you doing? Welcome, sir. You're on uh, here. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I've, got, uh, I've uh, lived here probably about 25 years, and uh, my neighbors right next door, are Jehovah's Witnesses, and they're the best neighbors I've ever had in my life. Do you get a, get a and, do you get a lot of knocks? I mean, do they whenever they head out, they head out. No, there? no, no. Okay. I mean, I'm, 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 okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not being mean. Uh, no, I know you're. Yeah, but you guys are a little bit, you know, irascible about this thing. Irascible uh, might be the right never, term. I would agree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing is, they've never personally come over, but you know, they've had some people come over. But uh, I'm sure from their kingdom hall. But everyone that I've met is an incredible person. They're um, uh, so warm. They're, uh, I don't really believe in all the uh, situations that they have regarding their religion. Now, I do know my neighbor, uh, he and I, he actually worked for the EPA and he retired. He cuts trees, and I used to help him about 10 years ago and everything. And they do not take blood transfusions, and like you said right. earlier, they don't celebrate anything, which in my case, with three daughters and uh, in-laws, you know, I think, Jesus, that'd be great, because I don't have to buy Christmas presents or birthday presents, but they are some of the warmest people I've ever met, and, uh, you so know, just to be clear, their, Kurt, they, uh, they've lived next door to you for how long now? 25 years. 25 years. So they were here before I came here. Jeez. Yeah. They're committed to that house. So, so they've never actually <laughs> tried to recruit you into the religion. But oh, you... no, no, no. Not at all. No, not at all. I mean, we, we drink beer. Uh, really? Hold and, on. Uh, you drink beer with the Jehovah's Witnesses? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell awesome. yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they could drink. Yeah, That's interesting. I mean, you can't, you yeah, can't get blood uh, transfusion, but you can drink a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, and they're... Uh, so giving. I mean, you know, he would, he'll, uh, my neighbor will help me anything I need. And, uh, his wife is, you know, she's such a beautiful person. I mean, they watch their house and I've watched their houses oh, great, and, or man. their I'm, house. I'm glad and, you, uh, I mean, they're good people. Cool, man. And, well, I, uh, I appreciate you calling in with the feedback tonight, Kurt. Anything else you want to share about your experience? Well, I just want to say that, you know, uh, there's perceptions on a lot of people's parts about a lot of people. And until you really experience those people, uh, I think the majority of people who make condescending remarks about other people really don't understand the people. Unless oh, I they think really that's true. I think it's absolutely, people. you know, it's it's totally unfair to down somebody, uh, if you, especially if you haven't met that person. I, f I feel like what we're doing tonight is we're sharing with uh, our audience what one person had to say about growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. I mean, I, ca I can't, you know, I can't detract from what that person has to say, and I can't add anything to it. I can only share it, and we can comment on it. Because, you know, they may be good people, but you know, good people can still have silly religions, oh, yeah. and it can be fun to talk well, about that. I guess I got to say this one thing. Uh, they had two daughters, and uh, I think the daughters might have, uh, one of the daughters might have suffered through that. And the other daughter, I think, I'm not sure if she is or not. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she is, because she's helped on the Kingdom Hall somewhere in North Carolina. So she's pretty much still into it. But the other daughter, I think, straight away. I fell away from it. Thanks for the call, Kurt. I yeah. appreciate hey. hearing from you tonight, man. Toll-free number is 855-453. We're on the 10 things that sucked about growing up Jehovah's Witness and up to number nine you know, on this, that list. I'm sure that I have beliefs where it's like, 
I, I, I just cannot brook the idea of my son not believing the same thing I do in some area. I'm not sure what that is, uh, that belief is. I'm, I'm certain that there's a few of them, but, uh, you know, I guess it's it's interesting. Uh, when Daddy, you, taxes are good. <laughs> he becomes an IRS agent. We're, we're having a conversation right now about uh, Lego. Do you know what Lego City is? Uh, no. Lego City is a town full of bureaucrats. Um, <laughs> bureaucrats and a few people that uh, they work for. Um mm-hmm. It, it's amazing. It's the city is uh, construction sets, right? Well, it's uh, right. Have police stations, and police stations, like that. firefighters. Mm. Um, they've got the uh, the drug task force with the oh uh, no, the, the really? coast guard. Well, come they on, you know what the coast guard's to pay doing? All their salaries. <laughs> all their thieves steal bars of gold and they oh, have stubble. Wow. But um, I mean, you know, you know what the coast guard's doing? Of course, they're they're saving people in this particular instance. But I'm like, yeah, you know, I had uh, the city set was so boring. I never had any interest in that as a kid. Right, I like you the want space things to blow ones. up. But for whatever reason. And Jack likes the constructive things uh-huh. as opposed to the destructive things. And, you know, the less he follows in Uncle Ian's footsteps, the better I like <laughs> it, honestly. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I was I was having a conversation and I, you know, I put a um, a goal out in front of him and said that I could, you know, like, I if you make the goal, then uh, I will help reward you in a particular area. And he wants to get this Lego government bureaucrat uh, drug busting boat mm. thing that he wants to get um and it actually says like drug test no it doesn't but you know what the coast guard does right okay, sure um <laughs> so well, they, don't they stop brown people i mean isn't that yeah, fair? Yeah, you're right they, they send they send people who are trying to have more freedom back to a despotic nations too mm. there's that um in this case they're saving somebody on a jet ski or something from maybe a shark i'm not sure exactly mm, okay. what they're doing but I am, i'm like uh, look if you just don't get a government bureaucrat. I'll up it by fifty percent. What I'm willing to throw in on the spot. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, what's a government bureaucrat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's trying to figure out why the Coast Guard boat is not a government bureaucrat mobile. How did uh, we get on the Lego City from talking about Jehovah's Witnesses? The things that uh, people are unwilling to, uh, the the beliefs that people are unwilling to be flexible on with their children. Toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. Let's continue here. Number nine, looking, this one's pretty weak, looking like a jerk when someone sneezes. Jehovah's Witnesses don't say God bless you when someone sneezes. What about Gesundheit? That practice supposedly has a pagan origin. What about saying salud? Um, this is a... Uh, what does that translate into? Health. Okay. Uh, That's a good one. In, and Gesundheit translates into good health, I think. Yeah. I, mm. I don't think there's anything wrong with wishing someone good health. Um, you know, God bless you, I suppose. But, uh, you know, the fact is what your heart stops when you sneeze. Mm. Um, I hate sneezing. I, I could sometimes I feel it in the front um, of my head. I, like my I, face will tingle. I feel when like I that's a, there's a scientific point to be debated there about whether or not people's hearts stop when well, they sneeze. There's a, const- there's a constriction of your rib cage and it squeezes your heart. Okay, but I don't think it necessarily stops people's hearts. It's sort of like the thing that where you can't keep your eyes open when you sneeze and. Myth busted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice call. All right, so going on here, number 10, the constant feeling of being watched. These are the 10 things that sucked about growing up a Jehovah's Witness. Jehovah's Witnesses, according to ThoughtCatalog.com, have no concept of privacy and tend to view secrets they find out about other witnesses as some sort of gift from God. Pair this with the report what is bad rule mentioned in number two, and you have a recipe for disaster. The elders once told me I had negatively influenced my former roommate. The reason? My roommate... A former roommate had worked for Blockbuster Video, and he had searched my records to snoop on the movies that I had been watching. <laughs> he decided to go through my private records at work, and yet I was the bad guy because I rented Die Hard. My life as a Jehovah's Witness was Orwellian. I lived Yippee in Kaye, <laughs> name of Jemma. I lived in constant fear that someone would see me walk into an R-rated movie, catch me playing a violent video game, see me talking to a girl, know that I. Uh, had non-witness friends, find out I liked rap music, etc. Leaving that religion was the best decision I ever made. There you go. I wonder From- if the Mormons have a thing for masturbation where they soak, just 
All right, so can let's describe clinically what the soaking is because it was mentioned earlier that this guy was talking about how Jehovah's Witnesses can't really date in any meaningful fashion. Uh, they have to have a chaperone and also no sex before marriage. He said that uh, that Mormons at least have the weird soaking thing. So you went to Urban Dictionary <laughs> and you looked it up. So let's keep it as uh, as clinical as possible, a description of what is soaking. Sex without motion. So insertion once, and that's it. <laughs> right, well, then there would have to be there. there would have to be uh, retraction at some point. Once. Yeah, but yeah. that's it. No, I don't know if any finishing occurs. But no, no thrusting. I you assume think you no, could like but... shift your weight around a little bit, you know, and then mm-hmm. like you know under the right circumstances, that'd be plenty. Uh, Toll free number is. It's eight... not going to be good. Well, it'd be plenty for the the dude. I don't think it's going to be plenty for the gal. Eight fifty five four fifty three. We'll find out more about the belief system, uh, Johnson. A strange belief system about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm-hmm. You have something about that coming up here in a few moments. Plus. Edward Snowden, you know, the guy who released all kinds of amazing information about the NSA. Well, there's more to come still. And there's new news out about what is being called Monster Mind. We'll get into that here in a little bit. Your calls are certainly welcome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That is the number brought to you by Pro XPN 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. More come up. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 14th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,313, silver opened at $19.86, and Bitcoin is trading around $511.50. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. In the news, throughout Wednesday night, social media exploded with videos and images of militarized police facing off with reporters and protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. The Washington Post and Huffington Post reported that their reporters were violently removed from a McDonald's while attempting to cover the scene. The Huffington Post Ryan J. Riley said the police were acting as a military force and slammed his head against a glass window during the arrest. The officers refused to identify themselves. Protesters reported tear gas canisters being fired and the LRAD sound cannon being used. Vigils turned to protests as looting and rioting followed the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown at the hands of an unidentified police officer. 
Cell phone data used in court has recently come under fire. According to the Washington Post, federal judges have ruled that the analysis of cell phone records was not scientifically valid or reliable in locating people, in part because investigators have overstated its accuracy. One such judge released a woman wrongfully imprisoned for 12 years based on vague cell phone triangulation data. While judges are actively overturning many convictions based on cell phone data, the FBI is pushing to expand its team of cell phone analysts and has trained over 5,000 state and local investigators in the methodology. Federal prosecutors are seeking to have all of the alleged conspirators of the September 11th attacks tried together. On July 24th, Army Colonel James Pohl ruled that Ramsey bin al Sheib should be tried separately because legal issues with his case were holding up the other defendants from being tried. Prosecutors are asking the judge to hear arguments for their emergency motion at a pretrial hearing at Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba. The 9-11 trials have been plagued with delays, media censorship, and accusations of interference from federal agencies. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 on 1370 AM in Austin. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 14th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. New York City Councilwoman and public advocate-elect Letitia Tiss James has called for a pilot program that would require law enforcement to wear body cameras as a check on police misconduct. A study conducted in Rialto, California, has shown strong statistical evidence that body cameras help to protect citizens from police abuse. According to the New York Times, the Rialto body cameras reduced the number of complaints filed against officers by 88% in the first year. In the same time period, use of force by officers fell by nearly 60%. The Associated Press reports that a spokesperson for the New York City Police Department has announced that a feasibility study is being conducted regarding the implementation of body cameras within the department. A new study says expecting mothers who lived near the site of the World Trade Center Towers collapse on September 11, 2001, were more likely to give birth prematurely and have babies with lower than average birth weights. The study by Janet Curry and Hannah Schwant of Princeton University says expecting mothers may have experienced complications from inhaling dust as a result of the large cloud that covered the city following the attacks. First responders have experienced a rise in cancer and other illnesses that have been attributed to the toxic substances consumed from the building's collapse. Although the study is yet to be peer-reviewed, the authors state that the findings provide the first consistent evidence that the 9-11 dust cloud had detrimental impacts on pregnancy outcomes. A new law in Thailand aims to eliminate the commercial surrogacy industry. Thailand's military government approved a draft law that would make wombs for hire a criminal offense. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights at 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Wednesday, August 14, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. From the admission of Ant Colony 00008256 KLN 00067X into the Union in 1897 to the day in 1817 when embarrassed construction workers realized they put the Erie Canal in the wrong place. The Onion looks back at This Week in History. On August 5th, 1962, Nelson Mandela was jailed until 1990, becoming fully rehabilitated through the South African penal system. And thanks to the services provided to him while imprisoned, emerged from jail a successful politician and internationally revered symbol of peace. Mandela's record of overcoming hardships and moving South Africa beyond its formidable racial struggles is a lasting testament to South Africa's correctional facilities and prove that the penal system, small cells, demeaning work duties, and minimal rations are exactly the tools needed for a prisoner to truly become a reformed citizen. This is the Onion News Network.
This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you would like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. More about the Jehovah's Witnesses, and Johnson has an interesting story about some of their beliefs, which are a little bit different uh, than what you might find elsewhere. And not just necessarily the, their religious belief, either. We'll get into uh, that here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Also on the way here tonight, your calls. In fact, we're going to jump right into them. Ladies first, Bernice is on the line listening in Grand Rapids. Bernice, you're on Free Talk Live. Oh, yeah. I called yesterday and I talked about my son, Christopher, who became a ward of the state when he was 19. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I remember you said something about uh, the agencies wanting that government money. Uh, I remember something that happened years ago when when Chris was in Tyrus Mental Hospital. This when he was 19. Um, anyway, uh, a case manager of his said that uh, they was trying to, uh, you know, see if he qualified for a developmental disability. You know, he said because there's no money money in that. Mm-hmm. And I said, no, he's supposed to have, you know, he's supposed to have schizophrenia, you know. And I remember that. And... Anyway, they ended up placing him in a home for guys with a, with, with a mental illness. This was back in 2002. Uh, but he didn't stay in that home long because uh, he said something to one of the guys that live at the home, and they transferred him to another mental home in Nunica, Michigan. And he was at that home for three and a half years after he got out of that home. Where is he now? Um, oh, where is he now? Uh, no, oh, they just transferred him last week. To another home, and this home is in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He's been in about seven different homes. And these are all, are these state-run homes, or are they run by a private company that are, you're, they're taking money from the state government to operate? Do you know? Uh, 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 well, the, most of the homes he, he was in was, was, was with an agency called Hope Network. They do services for people who have mental illness mm-hmm. and developmental disabilities. And they get paid from the state to perform those yeah. services? Yeah, they get paid from the now, state. Now, when he's in these and, homes, have you gone there to visit? And have you been inside and seen the facilities? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you feel uh, about I, it? I mean, I, do you feel like there are humane places to live? No, no not all of them. Oh. Uh, um, he was at the one in Nunica for three and a half years. I think this was for people who have a mental illness and behavior problem. But, but in 2005 or 2006, he got a new state-appointed guardian. And she didn't think he belonged in that home, so so she wanted to move him. And she told the court that he has autism, and and she sent me a copy of the paper. And I, I told her he does not have autism. You know, that's <laughs> so she made that up in, in order to get him to move to a different facility. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, but I didn't know. I didn't know that. Uh, back it's like they're then. shuffling him around so, like a poker chip or something like that. I didn't know that back then. Back then, she said a doctor told her that, but I don't know if she's telling mm-hmm. the truth. Well, it but, seems like anyway, he's at the, you know, they're total, they have total control over him, and they're moving him wherever it is it's, it's convenient to uh, to keep him at, at any given point in time. It must be it must be frustrating. Oh, yeah, but he, does, he doesn't have autism. Anyway, last year she told me the truth. She said that somebody told her in order to get Christopher out of that home in Nunica, uh, she would have to say he has autism or have a doctor say he has autism. Mm-hmm. And that's how they got him out of that home. Bernice, and thanks for it, sharing it, the story tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I mean, there's really only, thing, one, only one thing you can take away from the story of a of a person who's been involved with a system for over a decade like that and, you know, under their control, a ward of the state, is don't call the, the police, you know, on your, your loved one if you can avoid it. If they're having some sort of a mental issue, uh, you know, try to find some other way to help them without involving the state. I don't know if that's a very well, compassionate solution. Well, I don't know, because um, what you haven't heard Bernie say is that— uh, you know, that she thinks that Christopher should be out of these. Do you remember mm. her saying anything like that? Well, she did seem, uh, when she called the other day, or I think it was yesterday, she did seem upset that uh, custody had been removed from, from her. She mentioned that he was a ward yeah. from, uh, for the last 12 years. Um, that they had been deemed as Maybe unfit. I should have asked her this specifically, but 
I, you know, I mean, it is very difficult to take care of somebody who um, has, you know, these kind of difficulties, right? Like he's schizophrenic. And there's a whole bunch of difficulties out there. There's Mm -hmm. a percentage of the population that sadly needs to be taken care of and is just not able to take care of themselves. I'm not talking about people who are like blind. In uh, Sarasota, there's the lighthouse uh, for the blind. They Mm -hmm. make... I think brooms and a variety of things, and uh, they're able to be very helpful and do quite well. They actually have a, a, a call-in line, a boiler room uh, that they run too. They do quite well, and they can take care of themselves in a uh, uh, situation where sort of everybody works together. What do they call that? Um, uh, employee mutual aid, owned? M- mutual mutual aid, aid society. society. And whereas there's, you know, when you're talking about a, like a mental hospital. The people who genuinely belong in a mental hospital, they couldn't run a mutual aid society. Yeah. Just because they don't do it well doesn't mean that we don't have to have some place for people like that to go. And I, I don't, don't think know what I the said that are. we should not have a place you for said people don't like call that the to state. go. Yeah, I, I really am concerned where about else, the way they else, treat people. Where are you going to go? I mean, state mental hospitals for decades have been known, hundreds of years have been known as really scary places to go where... Patients are abused and over-medicated and, you know, just incorrectly medicated. Uh, to me, that seems very scary. There must be some other option. Let me try to imagine for a second a, a six-foot-five um, individual who stays in your home. Johnson, for instance. He's a good-sized uh, individual. Let's say Johnson's completely out of his mind, bat S looney. Mm-hmm. And uh, you've got to go to work. Uh, you've got to work during the day, uh, maybe even have to leave the yeah. house, maybe your wife has to I'm leave the house. I'm not saying the person should stay at home if they're a danger to themselves or others or something like that. I just don't think the state is the best solution for compassion. I mean, if you want to help somebody, I don't believe that the state is you you know normally out there doing their best. I, I mean, yes, they can. I suppose there are likely people working inside dude. the state system that are trying to help people, but I've never seen a state-run monopoly be particularly compassionate or caring towards Towards people, I just don't. You know, I haven't just seen just the, visual, the visual, the visual otherwise. The visual that came to my mind when you when you mentioned me crazy was, you know, uh, from um, uh, the oh the boot camp movie with uh, Arlie Ermey. Uh, I, the name is escaping me. I don't know why. Born, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm forget- Born yeah. on the First of July. No, no. it says Born to Kill on the no, movie's no, it's, cover. No, no, it's like the most popular me- Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, full Metal Jacket. Okay. Full Metal Jacket. The the scene with. Uh, um, I think Vince or whatever, you know, where the guy is uh, in the, he just loses his mind. It's the one that where he crazy blasts guy. Arlie Ermey? Yeah, yeah, like he just goes, that's when he goes nuts. I right. just was imagining that. Yeah. You know? Well, I remember when Ian went nuts and we had, I had to pay people to watch him mm-hmm. and that was just for an evening. And I just, I, you know, <laughs> this isn't easy. This is not an easy you know, thing to address. It's funny that you had to pay people because I think you went about that all wrong. I'm sure that there are plenty of people that would have paid you <laughs> to actually see that, it could, you could have set it up like a zoo almost. <laughs> Just put him in a cage and be like, I didn't charge any, an admission. I didn't have a zoo. I didn't have a place to put him. <laughs> His girlfriend had kicked him out of the house. Um, and it was, you know, I had no place to send him. I had you to. You know, like 60 bucks, you get a dog crated. <laughs> 60 bucks is what I paid. Well, thanks for not turning me over to the state. And, but, but I did. Uh, you know, another no, you didn't. 14 hours later, that's exactly what I did. No, you didn't. Um, I ended up in a hospital, which is not a state that gets hospital. all kinds of state money. Okay, well, you didn't turn me over to the state. You didn't call the state on me. You didn't put a Baker Act uh, in, or whatever they call it in New Hampshire, where you can get uh, interned for seventy-two hours. They could something. very well have done that at the hospital. Facility, not a yeah, they could have, but he was in a private medical facility, not a state-run. They spend facility. a great deal of time scolding me for your behavior. Mm-hmm. Um, I found that to be uh, sort of frustrating. I'm like, no, it's the yes, story of your life, talking, Mark. <laughs> stop talking to me about this. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. People just scolding you for Ian's behavior all the time. So I, I mean, I get what you're saying, Mark. That uh, mental health, uh, mental health options may be limited uh, out there. I mean, I, I can understand the frustration of maybe there isn't something else. Maybe the state mental hospital is the only option for somebody. And I hope that's not true. I can't say I've looked into it. I haven't investigated it uh, that thoroughly. I don't know what the the choices are out there, but. Like Johnson was saying, a mutual aid society, something else, some other organization of people who are who are coming together not because they're getting a paycheck from the government, but because they actually care about people and they want to make their lives better, and they're competing in an open market to have a uh, to have a system uh, that is humane towards these people.
the toll-free number, that would be preferable to me. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads. This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting, insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you'd like. Dial toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, uh, what is Monster Mind? It is a new Snowden revelation, the man who's been revealing all kinds of information about the NSA and what they're really allegedly up to. 
Uh, we'll tell you more about that on the way here tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You can get cryptocurrencies right now from ExpressCoin.com. There's been a big dip in the price of Bitcoin today. I haven't been paying attention to a lot of the other cryptocurrencies, but usually they mirror it in some ways. And that may make a uh, buying opportunity for some. I wish I had more money to uh, put in right now. I certainly do not. But, uh, you know, many people are jumping in. ExpressCoin.com makes it possible for you to get Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin. They, customer service is their top priority. Fees are quite low. They're fast, completely legal. Um, and all you have to do is go to ExpressCoin.com and start there. You have the choice of using a check, money order, wire transfer, or you can go to a local um, credit union and deposit right there into their account. And within a business day, you should have your Bitcoins. It's ExpressCoin.com. Start off there. You can do it from your smartphone by downloading their app at ExpressCoin.com. Yes, you can do it in Canada. You use coupon code FTL, and you can get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrencies with no fee at all. That's coupon code FTL at ExpressCoin.com. Still to come, more about the uh, interesting beliefs of the Jehovah's Witnesses. We'll get back into that here in a moment. We spent the first hour talking about the 10 things that really sucked about growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. Not that any of the three of us did, but uh, that was the article that we were sharing with you. You can, of course, uh, add, go to our Facebook page, uh, Twitter, Google+, and you can find a lot of the stuff that we talk about on the air, a lot of the show prep that we're using. If you are interested in uh, learning more, you're welcome to do that. We go right back into your phone calls and thoughts. Tom is listening in New Hampshire. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Tom. Yeah, I just uh, thought of a different angle today, and I wanted to share it with your listeners uh, about the uh, murder of uh, Michael Brown out there in Ferguson, Missouri. And uh, what I did and what they can do, see, tomorrow is Friday, the last business day of the week, so I wanted to get this in uh, in time for them to, your listeners, to, to think this over. Uh I called up the governor's office, the office of Governor Jay Nixon, and I also emailed the uh, attorney general's office uh, out in Missouri with this uh, comment. And that is, uh, see, I call up the governor's office and I tell the lady that I like that idea of not publishing the name, not disclosing the name of the cop that murdered Michael Brown. And just then, by saying that, of course, I used the word murder, which they don't like. But then I say, because... If they disclose that, then somebody might track down that cop and settle the matter out of court, and then they figure that the job is done. I believe but that the uh, I believe Anonymous has been uh, tracking him down, and they have released a name of a officer mm -hmm. and some pictures, including a picture of him in his basement with a Confederate flag on the wall, which is pretty <laughs> damning. Wow. Um, I, you know, I don't know whether this is the guy, and it would be really unjust if it was not, but. Now, this is the cop, or the alleged cop, who shot a uh, young man in Ferguson, Missouri recently. Right. And I don't think that the uh, Confederate flag means the same thing to everybody. I think that it is a, of of the uh, battle banners out there, um, which I consider all flags to be war banners, um, of them, well, I think that's the most attractive of them. But I also think it carries the most baggage with it. And I would never put one on, um, you know, anywhere, because it might make somebody feel bad. Well, what I'm getting at is, I said they should not give out the name of that cop because then somebody might track down that cop and settle the matter out of court, and then everybody will figure that the job is done. But if they don't give out the name of that cop, then people get angrier and angrier until things explode, and then they'll take out a whole bunch of cops. Maybe they'll exterminate a hundred cops. Maybe I mean, the more the better, as far as I'm concerned. Because let's face it, they all deserve it. Tom, See, that's no, what, what that's I told the true. lady at the governor's no. office. Tom, I, that's, that's not what I told the lady at you're, the governor's office. You are you're conflating all police with murderers, and I'm sorry, that's just not true. They don't all deserve that, and thank you for the call tonight. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. But I understand why someone's upset. I understand why people are, are frustrated with the police. Many of them do get away with murder. I mean, that much is true, but I don't think you can solve the problem of violence with violence. I just don't uh, I don't believe in that. I think that there's all kinds of evidence that shows that violence just begets more violence. And uh, yeah, no, it's not sorry, cathartic. Tom. So the toll free number again is 855 450 free. I came up with this idea a long time ago and I'll share it with you guys so that you can, you know, put it up on the Facebook or whatnot. But just on a whim, graphic design wise, I thought 
you know, is there any way that you could make that that confeder- Confederate flag and make it into something that was more politically correct? <clears throat> and so what I thought of is I thought that, hey, you could take that flag and combine it with the Jamaican flag. They actually have a, a kind of a similar pattern to them. There are a take- lot of flags <laughs> that have that sort of X through them, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I took the uh, the Confederate flag and the uh, Jamaican flag, and I combined them a while ago to make the pot-smoking rebel flag. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Can you post it? Is it possible to post that on our Facebook? Yeah, sure, absolutely. I'd love to see what that looks like. Yeah. And I'm sure some of our other listeners would as well. Uh, if you want to hop over to our Facebook page, you can go to facebook.freetalklive.com. If you prefer Twitter, there's always Twitter. Twitter.freetalklive.com. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Something else you wanted to talk about, Johnson, uh, was the Jehovah's Witnesses and one of their beliefs about sort of world government, yeah, world sure. politics. Imagine imagine getting a flyer. You know, you get those Jehovah's Witness flyers if you've ever seen the little, the little pamphlets. Well, <clears throat> imagine getting one that says, and it's got a picture of the globe, a world government. Why do we need one? Is it mm. possible? Who is qualified to rule? Here are the answer. Is it a free public event? This is your invitation. Who is qualified to rule? Right, exactly. Because Jehovah's Witnesses don't even say the Pledge of Allegiance. They don't believe in govern. Mm. That that they, they are. I mean, I don't know exactly what they believe as far as government, but um, apparently, one world government. They believe that they're beholden to God, not to their government. I, I guess one world government's fine as long as God's ruling over that government. But I don't, this sounds well. We haven't read the flyer, right? We don't know. Maybe that's the conclusion they they come to in there. Do, do you have the full text of the flyer, Johnson? I'm just curious. I do not have that in front of me, no. All right. Where's the source on this? The source on this is actually the, the article that I just found about this. And I've, there are a bunch of different articles talking about this now. This is actually just from a WordPress, so, um, but I've seen it on a bunch of different sites. But I a lot just, of religions are one. against the idea of a one-world government. These guys are in favor of it, it sounds like. Well, sort of. Um, essentially what they're promoting, and, and what's interesting is – they're calling for a one-world government because they believe that will ha- what will happen is, uh, well, here, let me just read this. Um, is the Jehovah's Witness Church promoting the idea of a one-world government? Who is the one that they feel qualified to rule the earth? An apostasy and a falling way is happening across the world. It is not only affecting America. Churches seem to be warming up to the idea of a universal church for all believers to come together under one roof. The call for a world government has never been more embraced. When the time comes, a world ruler will arise that will lead many to the slaughter. Prophetic implications are happening now, and they are splint- sprinting... F- springing forth from the Bible like a nightly news broadcast. I wouldn't listen to anything the Jehovah's Witnesses have is to say as far as the... Is this from the Jehovah's Witnesses, what you're reading? Uh, some of it, yes. I mean, but the... The, the thing- end of the world, they were wrong on that a century ago. Right. So the the idea is, I think, in these talks is that who's qualified to rule? Jesus. And that essentially a government will... And the one world government will be run by God directly. So that's the conclusion. That's a, you know... It's a roundabout. They believe that God is going to run the, the world government. 855 yeah. 450 free. This is Free Talk Live. I think it's terrifying. It's the heart of summer across America. Thoughts turn to childhood and long days of fun. Everybody would love to feel like a kid again. An HB extract can be a vital tool in your battle to stay vibrant and young as it supports healthy blood pressure and circulation while balancing cholesterol. GCN and longtime sponsor HB extract want to help keep your heart healthy with the 30 bottle 30 day summer giveaway. Enter to win by visiting GCNlive.com between now and August 29th and click on the contest banner in the top left corner of the page. HB Extract has helped tens of thousands of people worldwide feel good again. And they've done it with HB Extract's exclusive formula of wild crafted and organic herbs. Here's to you enjoying many more long, warm, and fun-filled summers free of pain and sickness. Visit GCNlive.com and enter to win in the 30-bottle, 30 30-day 30 summer giveaway with HB Extract. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Sign up now at GCNlive.com. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. 
the people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference, one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up anything you want right here, toll free, 855-450-FREE. That's the Pro XPN toll free line, and you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you on the website. Of course, Pro XPN is a global virtual private network that encrypts your internet connection. It means that what you're sending out of your computer and what's being received into it is being encrypted by Pro XPN, uh, their server and their software that you run on your computer, and that protects you from having your internet service provider knowing everything you're doing, which they probably do right now. If you don't have Pro XPN uh, right now, then you're probably having every website you visit logged, as well as every search term that you enter. And once you start with Pro XPN, that problem is solved. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. You can download their free software there for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, as well as Android devices. Plus, Linux users, uh, setup's a little different for you, but when you, uh, you, it's actually possible to get started on Linux pretty easily. Just slightly different setup. proxpn.com slash FTL. If you want to get a sweet discount on their annual account use this promo code it's ftl50 it gets you 50 percent off the annual account for the lifetime of your account that breaks the price down to about five bucks a month and if you want to save even more pay with bitcoin use code ftlbtc if you're going to pay with bitcoin and you'll save 62 percent off the annual account there pro xpn doesn't keep uh, records of your online surfing habits and you've got a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee so with their premium account you get unlimited bandwidth servers around the world you can connect to you can even privately torrent with their premium account and access regionally blocked websites very useful stuff and the price is right get the discount ftl50 with that code or if you're gonna pay with bitcoin ftl btc go to proxpn.com slash ftl to get started so you can share your thoughts here tonight edward snowden uh more revelations coming out for those of you who uh, i don't know you've been under a rock 
uh, not paying attention to the news for the last year plus, you know that er, uh, Edward Snowden has been probably the, you know, he's probably the man of the year, man of the decade, perhaps. I mean, this guy is an incredibly courageous individual who has come out with lots of uh, just revelations about the NSA, how many lies we've been being told, even as he came out with the uh, these truths about the NSA, they were denying them, and then they would tell more lies to try to cover up what they were doing, and then all of those lies would just be bashed open by more Snowden revelations that were uh, you know, still coming out. And it's not over. It's been over a year's worth of uh, this sort of trickle of NSA-related news that have been coming out over time, and there's more, according to the Hit and Run blog over at Reason.com. Uh, they're talking about James Bamford, the national security journalist and author who himself had once been threatened with prosecution over his writings about the NSA's activities decades ago. He actually went to Russia and sat down with Edward Snowden and then uh, put together a profile of the NSA whistleblower for a massive piece in Wired magazine. In addition to the typical biographical background and description of how Snowden's life is currently playing out in Russia, which is pretty tame, Snowden doesn't appear to get around much, Bamford came back with two new New scoops. First, back in 2012, Syria had a major internet outage amidst its civil war. Naturally, people assumed this was done somehow by President Bashar al-Assad, or loyalists, in order to censor opposition. Turns out, it was caused by the United States. And it was an accident. According to the story in Wired, one day an intelligence officer told Snowden that TAO, a division of NSA hackers, had attempted in 2012 to remotely install an exploit in one of the core routers at a major internet service provider in Syria, which was in the midst of a prolonged civil war. This would have given the NSA access to email and other internet traffic from much of the country. But something went wrong, and the router was bricked instead, rendered totally inoperable. The failure of this router caused Syria to suddenly lose all connection to the Internet. Can you believe that? That most of the country was wow. dependent on one piece of hardware? Although the public didn't know that the U.S. government was responsible. But I remember when this was the, the case, it was like, Assad shut down the Internet! It's the first time the claim has ever been revealed. Inside the TAO Hacker Operations Center at the NSA, the panicked government hackers had what Snowden calls an OS moment. They raced uh, to remotely repair the router, desperate to cover their tracks and prevent the Syrians from discovering the sophisticated infiltration software used to access the network. But because the router was bricked, they were powerless to fix the problem remotely. Fortunately for the NSA, the Syrians were apparently more focused on restoring the nation's internet than on tracking down the cause of the outage. Back at TAO's operations center, the tension was broken with a joke that contained more than a little truth. Quote, if we get caught, we can always point the finger at Israel. Unquote. So back God. to the reason story here. So if the outage did actually hamper officials, or excuse me, hamper efforts to dislodge Assad, and remember, U.S. leaders were publicly calling for him to step down at that time. They have us to thank, meaning the United States federal government. The bigger revelation, however, is the existence of Monster Mind, which is not the name of Lady Gaga's next album. It's the reason why the NSA really, really needs to be connected to everybody online all of the time. From Wired Magazine, the massive surveillance effort was bad enough, but Snowden was even more disturbed to discover a new strange Lovian cyber warfare program in the works, codenamed Monster Mind. The program, disclosed here for the first time, would automate the process of hunting for the beginnings of a foreign cyber attack. Software would be constantly on the lookout for traffic patterns, indicating known or suspected attacks. When it detected an attack, Monster Mind would automatically block it from entering the country. A kill in cyber terminology. So this, what kind of attack are we talking about here? This is a terrorist attack or this is some kind of online attack? Any kind of online attack, a cyber attack. A cyber attack. So some sort of a hack or, you know, some kind of malicious software. They're, they're searching for patterns and trying to stop it before it... Uh, before it happens, which, you know, doesn't sound like a bad idea on its face, right? Stop cyber attacks. Who could be against stopping cyber attacks? 
Well, programs like this had existed for decades, but Monster Mind software would add a unique new capability. Instead of simply detecting and killing the malware at the point of entry, Monster Mind would automatically fire back with no human involvement. And that's a problem, says Edward Snowden, because the initial attacks are often routed through computers in innocent third countries. These attacks can be spoofed, he says. You could have someone sitting in China, for example, making it appear that one of these attacks is originating in Russia. And then we end up shooting back at a Russian hospital. What happens next? Because uh, malware, by its definition, is software you didn't really want to have on your computer right. and can uh, be, you know, essentially connect with the network in some cases. I don't know if you've heard of the uh, the zombies, uh, the zombie computers where the software controls, software that you're running, let's say, as a hacker on your computer, controls hundreds of other computers around the internet What's and it? has them do things at its bidding, basically. And these computers don't know they're involved. Yeah, and the, the owners don't know they're the involved. Owners, that's what I mean. Yeah. Um, like, you, you can be on your computer, and your computer will do things that you don't see on the screen. Or Correct. you can be away, your computer can be on, you're stepped away, or, you know, you're out in the yard gardening, or whatever it is that you're doing. Your computer's off, uh, you know, tracking something. Yeah. Right. Or, your, or your computer's off generating Bitcoin and uh, costing you an electricity while it's, you know, crunching numbers. So is there malware that's oh, uh, yeah. Bitcoin? Yeah, that generates Bitcoin. Generating? Yep, wow. Absolutely. So yeah, so you got to be careful about that, and that's why it's good to run, you know, antivirus, anti-malware software, or someone argue that you should run Linux, and then that stuff doesn't happen to you. But that's another discussion. So in the addition to the possibility of accidentally starting a war, Snowden views MonsterMind as the ultimate threat to privacy because in order for the system to work, the NSA first would have to secretly get access to virtually all private communications coming in from overseas to people in the United States. He says, quote, the argument is the only way we can identify these malicious traffic flows and respond to them is if we're analyzing all the traffic flows. And if we're analyzing all traffic flows, that means we have to be intercepting all traffic flows. And that means violating the Fourth Amendment, seizing private uh, communications without a warrant, without probable cause, or even a suspicion of wrongdoing for everyone all of the time. So there's more uh, at the Wired piece, which is linked to here in the Reason story. But the big news is this Monster Mind program uh, using essentially sniffing out all kinds of information and using what that information. What if Monster Mind itself gets hacked? You know, what if yeah, it, it gets sure. hacked? Now, not just spoofed and, and redirected, but what if somebody actually is an image just to somehow take it over and... Great point. According to Snowden, the security level at the NSA was relatively low. Right. And in fact, he talks about in another interview, uh, he talks about how he left the NSA clues about what he was doing, but they couldn't find them. Uh, so we'll come back with more here. You can share your thoughts on Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. Stop harming your body with coffee from grocery stores or most chains. Start making a difference one cup at a time. We've partnered with Camano Island Coffee Roasters to offer you a free pound of BuzzBox coffee. It's organic, so no harmful pesticides or toxins. Shade grown, meaning less acidity and no heartburn. Try the best of the best for free. Just cover shipping. 10% of future purchases go toward helping us give the gift of human freedom around the globe with at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. In a far future universe, Earth's fleet is shattered, rife with guerrilla warfare, interspecies diplomacy, and full-scale interstellar combat. Humanity is about to face its trial by fire. Trial by Fire, book two in the tales of the Terran Republic, sequel to the national best-selling and award-winning Fire with Fire by distinguished professor and author Charles Gannon. Get it now from Amazon through shop.freetalklive.com. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335.
when you're coping with bad news and the news media come calling, and they will, don't clam up. As notorious political figures find out the hard way, the cover-up can be worse than the crime. So get out in front of unfavorable news about your company, your group, or organization, or yourself. The sooner you confront a negative story, the sooner it will be over. Responding as quickly to negative stories as you do to positive ones enhances your credibility. Hiding embarrassing information or lying will do more damage than damage control. Never stonewall. Tell your side of the story, use specifics, and detail what corrective action has already been taken. Respond in kind. If the issue is emotional, don't sound like a cold, unemotional Mr. Spock. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can take control toll free. 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. I'm so bummed out. We actually had a Jehovah's Witness on hold uh, during the break, but I guess they, they just couldn't hang through or... I don't know if they're allowed to use cell phones. Maybe the cell phone uh, signal dropped out. Hopefully the Jehovah's Witness will call back because we've been asking uh, for folks. They are certainly allowed to use cell phones. Okay. Just stop. I don't know what all the rules are. There's then all why are of... we talking about it? <laughs> well, we're talking about it so we can learn about uh, them. Duh. The toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. I was going to be presumptuous and think that the Amish are the only religion in the world who shuns technology. Um, there might be the, there's a few different, uh, varieties of Amish. Um, there, there might be a few little sects out there, maybe the old religion, uh, from Russia, but not too many. So we've also been talking about- So if about you give the- someone a cell phone for their birthday and they're rejected, are they Amish or are they Jehovah's Witness? Um, <laughs> yeah, I get the joke. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we've been talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses, life growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. We had an article about that in the first hour. Also, new Edward Snowden regula- or regulations, no, revelations, uh, more information being revealed about the uh, the brand new Monster Mind program that I'll, I guess is not that new. Apparently, it's been around for a little while, but Snowden uh, has released the info about it. We'll put that info up on our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. And Johnson, uh, speaking of the Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, what I didn't realize was that you had more to tell us about their beliefs about this idea of the New World Order or uh, having a one-world government, maybe as a more uh, appropriate terminology. You were saying that they believe that God will be in charge of the one-world government? Yeah, I guess that there's a... uh a group that calls itself Christian. Uh, I'm just looking. I'm trying to figure out where I am because it's kind of a long article. But um, uh, where's the story from again? And now, well, I, I was kind of switched because I've I've read a bunch of stories on this, and I think the better one is from conservativefocus.com. Okay. And um, essentially, it's just again talking about these Jehovah's Witnesses promoting a one world government. Apparently, there's an organization I guess called the Daniel Project. Um, which uh, talks, a group of Jehovah's Witnesses? I guess it, they the, save people from lions. Dangerous. Sure, I guess it may be it might be wider than just Jehovah's Witnesses. 
Um, and it says, okay, let me just read here. While an increasingly large number of churches have in the recent past fallen under what many may term the slippery slope of feel-good re- religions, the number of individuals who have fallen victim to certain groups which they have thought were Protestant, only to later learn that they painfully that they were not, financial con artists, certain so-called Christian televangelists have turned out turned the church into a laughing stock of greedy characters while unabashedly begging for money and sometimes even much worse. Um, these groups will always present in one form or another have in the modern day reached what could be described as a plague of delusions built for largely for financial gain to the proprietor. The Bible refers to this as the great apostasy or departure from the truth. According to Jacob Prash, who is associated with the man of lawlessness or the metaphor, blah, 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 blah. Um, Okay, so apparently it's also a metaphor for the Antichrist or who God will allow to deceive many of those who are in whom are in search for Is this for from John Confused, Johnson? Is this are you reading something from the Jehovah's Witness? No, I am not. I'm reading this. This is uh from this uh conservative blog who's talking okay. about um they're quoting someone, this Jacob Prash, um, who I'm assuming is probably another religious leader. Of some sort or another. I mean, there's kind of always this infighting between the different yeah. sects of religion. Um, but essentially, they're talking about, okay, so for example, biblical prediction number 11, a great leader to bring peace within the new world order, and biblical prediction number 12, resulting in a one world government, a forced financial system, and state control. There are, I guess, certain tenets in the Jehovah's Witnesses, I don't know if it's their version of the Bible, and certain other Christian Bibles as well, are, are so they're going towards this new world order. Order. Um, again, continuing with the blog here. The words in New World Order have been repeated more and more often in the last two decades. By Usually pl- by people that don't know what the hell they're talking about, well, in my yeah. experience. And I mean, I don't know. So this is a Christian, uh, somebody from the Christian really right. and wild-ass speculation is, is what it sounds like. Just to clarify, like. this is someone from the Christian right mm-hmm. blogging about what they think about the Jehovah's Witnesses believing in the New World Order. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yep, Correct. So, uh, again, the, uh, the words of the New World Order have been repeated uh, more and more often in the last two decades by political leaders more than any other in time in U.S. history. Although author H.G. Wells seemed the first to write off such an order in his book of essentially the same na- uh, name written in 1940, which expounded largely on the wonders of socialism, George H.W. Bush was the first to use the actual term in his speech in 1900. So how does this tie in with biblical pro- prophecy? Many biblical scholars believe that some Several revelation references to one world government dovetail perfectly with the meaning behind the words new world order that can be found in the Revelation chapter 13, 7, which states the beast was permitted to go to war against the saints and conquer them. He was given ruling authority over every tribe, people, language and nation. Biblical experts further believe that the United Nations will be the organization at the heart of such power, an increasing loss of confidence in the Lord in like, heaven. This is, I mean, <laughs> all this stuff was wrapped up in the beginning of the uh, the first century. Revelations was about things that were going on then, not things that were going to go on in 2,000 years. This just sounds like Christian conspiracy theory to me. This is well, exactly what this theories, is. You know, and conspiracy theories these days, especially with help of the internet, are but, gaining traction, and it but, seems but to be getting what you're popularity. Reading in the, isn't, it doesn't have anything to do with the Jehovah's Witnesses. This is just the Jehovah's their- Witness thing that I read the, the very first thing where they're handing out pamphlets calling for mm-hmm. a new world order. It very much has to do with the Jehovah's Witness. This guy's just writing commentary about that. Well, but they, what they That's were saying in the pamphlet was essentially we want one world government a one world government that God rules over. And that's what essentially every Christian wants in the afterlife. No, but they're preaching like we need to make a one world government so that this happens. Are you? Uh, that is not what I heard in the article that uh, that you read previously. Well, that's what is happening. And there's there's videos and whatnot that accompany it, but obviously, you know, I can't get into a video here. Um, you know, I've watched stuff and I've seen it, and that's exactly what they're preaching. They want a one world government. And they want it now. But what I'm they're, hearing, they're that, going towards it. The Jehovah's Witnesses specifically. I'm not hearing in this article, at least yet. I, I haven't heard any real critique of the Jehovah's Witness viewpoint or whatever it is their beliefs are. What I'm hearing is this author, whoever he is, citing his beliefs, which are conspiratorial kind of beliefs about what the one world government supposedly is, what the history of it is, and, and that sort of thing. It just sounds like you're you're reading 
that person's viewpoints, not, not so much about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Am I missing something? Well, no. I mean, what he's doing right now is he's explaining what, why, why certain Christians believe in this one world government. Essentially, what he's saying is, is here's how this ties to the Bible. Because something in Revelation. It's a biblical person. It's a Christian guy. Right. Because of, so of something course, to in him, Re- you know, he wants to say, how, how does this relate to the Bible? Why would they have this? Um because of something in Revelations, and then uh, you know the, the Jehovah's Witnesses believe in the, the one world government, but I don't know. It seems like these people might be talking past one another. Maybe the Jehovah's Witnesses are saying they want this one world uh, government, but it's to be run by God as opposed to the new world order, which it, the Christian guy here is talking about, which doesn't necessarily have God at the top of it. The new world order would have you know men at the top of it, presumably. So I don't know if there's there's just like a total miscommunication going on here uh you know i don't know i mean it would it would it wouldn't be unbelievable that somebody who is not a jehovah's witness would misinterpret what the jehovah's witnesses are saying right i mean i i I can see that but again I, i watched videos of of what they were talking about and there's this supposed meeting this conference or whatever of um, witnesses jehovah's Witnesses. yes mm-hmm. yeah so uh, it seems odd that a group of people that won't say the Pledge of Allegiance want a one world government to me. I guess I just don't, I can't handle more Bible verses, Johnson, and I didn't expect them to be coming right. out of you no, tonight. Exactly. So, so I, without like reading. How much more is there? Right. Here? I'm looking here to read parts of this that are not Bible verses. So, like he says, uh, despite all these other biz- rather bizarre attributes, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Publishing Company, one of several Jehovah's Witnesses organizations, has shown fairly remarkable growth in their numbers since 1976. Uh, what is. What is so? What is it with this one-world government new order, which they are using as an opening into their sect? Well, indeed, it could be said that they appear to be moving uh, in with rather situated company. And then it's just got a link to a video of uh, Biden calling for new world order and Bush calling. Okay, for so new they're world lefties. Order. They're uh, supporters of the state. They're they're the devil's tools. I mean, is that the kind of the thrust of this article? Is that the yeah? So he says one particularly interesting aspect. Uh, they're considered uh, priests or uh, will refer themselves willing to apply. So I guess this is a quote from a, a from a Jehovah's Witnesses tract or you know pamphlet or something like that. The master is Jesus Christ. The slave is the group of anointed Christians on earth. This slave class is entrusted with caring for Jesus's earthly interests and with providing timely spiritual food. A small group of qualified overseers from among the composite faithful and discreet slave form the governing body, serving the representative of the slave class. So Jesus will have slaves in the one world government? I guess. To that's certainly the, what okay. this sounds like. That's enough crazy for me. That's from the Watchtower. Toll free number 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Hour number three is on the way. It's terrifying, I think. You can take control of the airwaves. It's just another religious group. I don't know what's terrifying about it. Hour three is on. Coming up. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. Lots of things change in life. Here's one thing that has it. For over 20 years, Lumber Liquidators has been the home of unbelievable flooring deals. And right now, those deals are even better. Take your pick of gorgeous pre-finished hardwoods like cherry, oak, and hickory, or an incredible 149 a square foot, plus loads of major hardwood flooring brands at a crazy 40% off. Even get great deals on laminate, bamboo, and vinyl floors. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Special 12-month financing available. But hurry, the sale ends Tuesday. 35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to asiarunlikehellguide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. asiarunlikehellguide.com. 
The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. From Keenan, the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, August 14th, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.85 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,310 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $514. Antiwar.com reports the Iraqi Kurdistan regional government was on the cusp of secession just weeks ago, but the sudden losses to ISIS have changed the Q calculation. The latest round of U.S. and French arms shipments are changing it again. Officials are pumping arms into the Kurdish Peshmerga in queue, hoping it will change the balance of power between them and ISIS, but it is changing inevitably the balance between them and the Iraqi central government as well. The reason the U.S. and others were not selling arms to the Peshmerga in the first place, and indeed the reason the U.S. was previously limiting arms sales to the Maliki government, was to keep the Kurds from securing enough arms to to successfully secede, or for the Iraqi military to get strong enough to crush the autonomous region. With the U.S. now throwing itself headlong into the Iraq war, the fear of upsetting this balance has gone out the window, and they and their allies are now arming everyone with reckless abandon, irrespective of the inevitable consequences. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The AP reports, same-sex couples could begin marrying as early as next week in Virginia after a federal appeals court refused on Wednesday to delay its ruling that struck down the state's gay marriage ban. The state would also need to start recognizing gay marriages from out of state next Wednesday, though the U.S. Supreme Court could effectively put same-sex marriages on hold again if opponents of same-sex marriages are able to win an emergency delay. One county clerk in Northern Virginia had asked the fourth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond to stay its decision striking down the ban issued in late July while it is appealed to the High Court. The appeals court order did not explain why it denied the request. Nancy Leong, a law professor at the University of Denver, said, The Fourth Circuit decision shows there's no longer a justification to keep same-sex couples from marrying. Given how many different judges in so many different parts of the country have reached the same result, it seems highly likely that the plaintiffs will ultimately prevail on the merits, and I think that, in turn, explains why the Fourth Circuit was not willing to grant a stay. Attorneys General in the two Carolinas did not indicate whether they would direct clerks to begin issuing licenses along with Virginia following the initial ruling last month. North Carolina Attorney General Roy Cooper announced that his office will stop defending his state's ban. A spokesman for South Carolina's Attorney General Alan Wilson said he sees no need to stop defending the state's ban. The West Virginia Attorney General's office said it communicated with the West Virginia County Clerks Association that its law regarding same-sex marriage remains in effect. Maryland, another state in the circuit, already allows same-sex marriage. During the 2013 Porcupine Freedom Festival, Davi Barker presented an idea for a renegade psychological experiment. Since then, he has refined his idea and put his plan and research into writing. He explains, We aim to show the world beyond a shadow of a doubt that power corrupts absolutely and corrupt authority deserves no obedience. Authoritarian sociopathy is available from Amazon.com and all major bookstores. Antiwar.com reports, the latest 72-hour ceasefire in the Gaza Strip expired and saw a brief exchange of fire with a handful of rockets fired into Israel and Israel launching several strikes on Gaza. 
Casualties have yet to be confirmed on either side. It was just a blip, however, and both sides have now confirmed agreeing to another five-day extension to continue the peace talks in Cairo, which have reportedly made some progress. Hamas officials appeared more or less united on the ceasefire extension publicly, while several Israeli cabinet officials expressed annoyance, lashing Prime Minister Netanyahu for not keeping them informed and demanding that the war be continued, even escalated until some sort of total military victory was achieved. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. And in a surprise announcement this morning, U.S. Deputy Surgeon General Greg Paulson stated that, quote, it's fine to smoke cigarettes if you only smoke while drinking. The Deputy Surgeon General has called the press conference to discuss the shocking findings, which began just moments ago. Let's go live to that now. Was there a particular study this report was based on? Look, that, that determination was made after considering that someone who only smokes when at bars or parties ends up smoking maybe 15 cigarettes a month, what? while regular smokers are smoking 150 to 200 cigarettes each week. So we feel that it's just obvious that as long as you don't actually buy the cigarettes and you only smoke them while consuming the alcohol, then the risks of getting lung cancer are basically mostly negligible. Just common sense. Well, this announcement comes on the heels of the Surgeon General's last announcement that drinking and driving is fine if you ate a lot that day or if it's a route you take all the time sober. Moving on, the Japanese Space Agency has announced plans to put a schoolgirl on the moon by 2015. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything that you want right here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features that we share with you, with you tonight, in here. And Johnson. And Mark. And we jump right back into your phone calls and thoughts. Coming up, a nude sunbather is going to fight the charges that he's received. First, we've got Lena in Colorado Springs listening, I believe, to I-25 Talk Radio. Hello, Lena. Yes. Uh, I wanted to say something about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Please. Yes, they, they've been coming to our door for about 15 years, and uh, we talk with them. We don't believe everything that they believe, and uh, they're just wonderful people. They keep coming back just to talk with us. Have and they promoted one? One time I was sick, and the dear lady offered any assistance that she could do for us, um, she and her husband. And uh, she says, I'll bring you a pot of soup, and, you know, I'll do anything you want me to do. I mean, what's bad about that? I'm not going to contend Nothing. that that's anything Very wrong nice. with that. My question would be, have they been promoting an all a one-world government at all recently? Have they been what? Promoting a one-world government. Oh, that's pretty ridiculous. They don't do that. Well, uh, Why that... would they do that? Where? Where did, where did you get that? Have you ever gone to their website? I have, and I've what I've seen recently is this, uh, you know, this Project Daniel, and and this is what I, why I'm bringing this up because I find it extremely concerning if uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are now promoting this one world government because there is a belief that uh, that unifying all religions and all churches under one uh, church and unifying all world governments under one government so that essentially the government would be then the kingdom of God on all of earth. And essentially, that's I don't know why you're so worried about this, Johnson. I mean, it's the Jehovah's Witnesses. When are they going to ever take hold? I mean, when are they going to you know, have their day in the sun? I, they're... Statistically, Jehovah's Witnesses is one of the growing we religions. Know that our oh, government yeah. is, is uh, promoting one world, uh, one world everything. Wait, uh, what, I'm sorry, what was the question? Do, do you know that the government is, is promoting one world government, one world everything? Well, the, I maybe the United that. Nations is, maybe, but not, not necessarily. Lots of governments States want government. their governments the yeah, way they absolutely. are. They don't want to give up their control to some bigger bureaucracy. Yeah, but many many government uh, politicians will use boilerplate, um, you know, UN uh, you know, rules, laws, with things, text, yeah. and well, then uh, introduce. I, I um, religions that people ought to be attacking are those people going around cutting people's heads off, don't you? You know, I, I've, I've been trying to look in the news witness. about the, uh, the the beheaded children, and I can't 
find a very good source for that. That may there may be a lot of hooey in the beheaded children part. Certainly, some people have gotten their heads cut know, off. There's no doubt about of, that. I've seen well, pictures well, and videos. Now, so. now I know that there's no use to talk with you, so um, I will just leave. Well, I've seen pictures and videos of what you're talking about, so you know. You're saying you've seen children with their heads, oh, their yeah. heads cut off? Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't say that. I, no, uh, I've say, I'm saying that. I've seen pictures of what you're talking about. Children so getting their agreeing, heads cut off. He's agreeing with I'm you. I'm agreeing you with know. you. I've seen it. I've seen pictures of it. So I absolutely believe what you're saying there. And yes, you know, there, there Who's are- Who's doing that? Islam, this Islamic religion. Well, there's all, not well, all the, Islamic no, religions. No, not all of Islam, but certain, definitely certain sects within it. But again, I, I my feeling on religion always comes down to there's always a, ba- a group of bad actors in every religion, it seems like. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, Lena, then, thanks for the call tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-453. I, mean, I openly admit that I have a very biased view against religion in general because I feel like it's, uh, you know, when you believe in things without evidence and without proof, you're open to being manipulated. I'm not here to attack the Jehovah's Witnesses, and if no. it feels like I've been attacking the Jehovah's Witnesses tonight, that hasn't been my intention um, all I wanted to do was share initially the ten, you know, ten things that sucked about growing up as a Jehovah's Witness. That's just an observation. That's that's a legitimate observation from someone who was involved, uh, allegedly, uh, in being a Jehovah's Witness as a young person. We don't know at what age they got out, but it sounds like they were an adult before they got out of the religion. And then Johnson, you brought up this story about the New World Order, which is freaking you out for some reason. Sure. And you're saying well, the you Jehovah's know, I, Witnesses I are find growing? It's, it's kind of yes, and it's and it's a kind of an interesting topic in that it seems to be that there's a lot of uh, media that's coming out recently of people who have, have escaped one particular region or another. There's like that show Breaking Amish for the people who have uh, escaped. What is that now? Oh, you've not heard of Breaking no. Amish? Oh, it's an incredible show. They follow a group of young, like in their 20s, uh, Amish people who have escaped the Amish religion. And it's, okay. it, the stuff that they've had to go through getting out of the Amish religion, because they, I mean, essentially, once you uh, be ostracized, break right? Amish, oh, yeah. yeah, horribly ostracized. I mean, they just cut off so all the You have ties. no family left. Yeah, you essentially. Have no friends. Yeah. yeah. And then they're, you know, there's all this crazy peer pressure, and they, you know, they're thrust into this entirely new world with no. You know, natural ability to kind of survive in it, right? And, and no, you, you don't have much of a foundation. You haven't earned much. Right. I mean, what person in their twenties? I mean, currently, most of America in their twenties is still living at the mom's house, or uh, you know, or their parents are paying for their college. Right. So you can imagine it's very dramatically emotional, and there's you know, funny moments, dramatic moments. I mean, so that's that's been a really really popular uh, television show that was that's been on in the past few years, but. Just in general, I mean, I, you know, people go from this, you know, kind of unquestioning indoctrination to a much more open-minded uh, worldview where suddenly it's like, oh, the, I've had this little bubble that I've been trapped in for all, my entire life. And suddenly, you know, they see what they've kind of always wanted to experience in, in life. And it's for me, I, I look at it from the viewpoint again, is that that bubble is all tied to, oh, we have to do everything because of the what what might go on after death and the afterlife. Everything's got to be lived for that particular moment and lived for this, you know, other view that they've been convinced of. It's not. Well, there's certainly plenty of religions within. that have the, that viewpoint, but not not all of them, right? Like, you know. No, but a lot of them, the vast majority. I mean, in, in the Hindu religion, as I understand it, I'm not an expert. I've only read, you know, a, 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 an excerpt from a book about this, like a, a b- larger book about religions in general. But uh, while, you know, they may believe in having multiple lives, there's no sense of urgency. Uh, to it, you know, like there's different, uh, there's different sort of steps, as I understand it, in sort of progressing. So, like the first mm-hmm. step is you're just you're just living for the moment, you're experiencing the pleasures of life, and then you move beyond that, and you become more concerned about the community and start working to kind of give back to the community. And there's like different stages. I don't remember the four different stages, but those were two of them: uh, the first one and one of the upper stages. And then you know, as you get higher up, you're like getting closer to uh, to being a master. Nirvana. I'm sure that like any other religion, that there's some sort of push to to uh, sacrifice your sense of reason for uh, some sort of emotional um, kind of uh, you know this basically self sacrifice almost all religions require in some sense a self sacrifice in order to um, 
I mean, how many religions have you studied? I mean, a lot, <laughs> a okay. lot, and it's hard to actually sometimes to keep them all straight because they mm -hmm. all have these very similar threads that run through all of them. So yeah, I mean, I've studied a lot of different religions, and they all have this very similar. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Attack as long as logic. it's peaceful and voluntary, I just don't care. I mean, if people want to believe in a giant spaghetti monster in the sky that uh, you know changes uh, <laughs> things with his noodly appendage, I just don't care. Here's my problem. I can't with get that. whipped up about it because it's like uh, it's everybody's an atheist except for their own belief system. Right. Whatever their belief system is, if their belief system is nothing, they're um, you know, they cling to it um and, and you know and advocate for it and it's just like, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> my thought is the world's think, not going to crack wide open if I don't if somebody doesn't believe like I do. See, well, I, my thought is that and I, I I agree with you on that and, and when it is voluntary, but the problem is, is that I I believe very strongly in one should hold to their principles and uh, you know, have an organized set of principles that are consistent and what I I find with a lot of religions is that at some point, again, if you're not basing your worldview on uh, reason and rationality and evidence, that people become open to manipulation and that also what then happens is that it gets to a point where people are convinced to do something that is not voluntary. I think your thesis is flawed. I think that the fact is people are open to manipulation and the manipulation is whatever the manipulation is. Reason is a great philosophy, but it's just you trying to manipulate them into reason. What about I, manipulation by uh, scientific experts who taint data and What if put they it don't taint data? The toll free number is 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. More coming up here on Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. This is this is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Free Talk Live. I cannot imagine anyone ever calling a cigarette interdiction hotline. <laughs> That'd be great. What would that conversation be like? <laughs> well, I'm calling because I can't stop smoking. Sir, do you have a cigarette right now? <laughs> well, yes. Is it lit? Uh-huh. Okay, you have an ashtray? Yes. Okay, you know when you're done with your cigarette and you put it out? Uh-huh. Okay, try that right now. <laughs> but it's not. Go ahead and do that same motion. I can't, I can't imagine the conversations. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell could they possibly Is it 24 say? hours? <laughs> I so, just don't. Get Just it. someone called him. I can't do it. <laughs> it's I, dumb. I smoked the whole pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I only get motivated at 3 a.m. Help me out. I've There's nobody there. <laughs> I've smoked all my money away, and now my wife's left me, and she took the dog and the kids. I got no money left. I've smoked it all. I was breaking into my neighbor's houses and pawning their TVs oh, for I more did. cigarettes. <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 
If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F E E N P H O N E.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Bring up whatever you'd like right here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online over at freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features on the site. They are completely free. Freetalklive.com. Something else that is free, a free pound of some of the best coffee out there. It really is. I uh, just uh, just got my fresh buzz box in a couple of days ago, and it's uh, it's wonderful to get this coffee. It's ground so fresh. Um, you can actually get it whole bean. I prefer mine ground professionally. <laughs> I figure, uh, you know, it's ground put in the mail. It's still fresh enough for me. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Get that free pound of coffee. It's shade grown. organic and top 1% grade Arabica beans. The reason that you're going to want to continue getting the coffee, because it's a subscription. You sign up, you can cancel at any time. You can get your free pound and go on your way if you want. The reason you're going to want to continue is is that a little bit of uh, money from every pound, uh, every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we're able to to give another microloan to another family around the world so that they can get whatever it is they need to live a better life. I you know, wouldn't propose to know, but maybe they need a sewing machine or a bicycle or something like that to start their own business. Give them that hand up rather than a hand out because that's what really changes people's lives. Go get your free pound, coffee.freetalklive.com. Start on a new way of giving through the coffee you drink every day. Rather than giving to charities where they just go and do something that people didn't want necessarily in their community, this way you can give them the loan they need. Coffee.freetalklive.com. So we've been talking about uh, religion in general. Johnson seems to be frightened that the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses are going to take over the world and well, start Well, not just a- Jehovah's Witnesses. It seems like that, it, that what this is talking about is that there are several religions that may be uh, moving towards pushing for a single world government and a single world oh, church. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, apparently well, the Jones... I know the Baha'i are interested in that. Mm, that's true. So, and you, you know, one of the things you brought up uh, was the idea that uh, you know people can be vulnerable to uh, scientists lying about uh, science and manipulating people that way. And uh, again, th- yes, that that's absolutely true. But I think my point is more towards the people who are leaning towards being libertarian or being voluntarist and. Uh, the you know when I talk about the manipulation, I think that science and rationality are systems for dealing with and getting to the truth or getting closer to the truth. That's the whole point of the scientific method, and the whole point of learning logical thought and rational thinking is to avoid uh, very specific methods for manipulation, like logical fallacies and bad reasoning. But wait and bad a second, logic. Johnson. We're not given the scientific method in the newspaper. We are told. You know, climate change or the I'm new health fad. I'm not telling people fad. to pay attention to the newspaper. I'm telling people that I, I, what I think is read that scientific I, journals. The average person is not, not going to do that. No, not necessarily. What I'm saying, suggesting, is just learn how to think. Learn basic rational thought. Learn basic logical thinking. Learn learn the logical fallacies. I don't think those those are so hard to grasp. You know, things like no true Scotsman, or you know, things like uh, you know, uh, any number of them. I mean, there are tons and well, tons. Well, my of point was, you were complaining there. that people are who are believing in some sort of religious guru or whatever, what some religious system are being subject to manipulation by other people, and that's certainly true. 
Um, but my point was, well, and I isn't think the that people that believe true? in the state are subject to being to manipulation, right? And much more obviously also, so. And isn't that also true in the scientific world, where you know there are people who would like to manipulate others into believing their viewpoint about it? Mark mentioned it's not universal global true, climate though. change or something like that. Sure, but it's not it's, not it's not universally true. What's there are not? there are some there is some science that's just based on truth. It's not based on political sure. motivation. Some science. Sure, but you have I to be able to filter science. that out. You sure, have to right? Be able yes, to, you have to be able to filter that out. You have to be able to spend the time, like you're saying with the rational thought and you know a- analyzing the information you know and we're here advocating do that you know we're here advocating and we've advocated many times here like oh for example like hey Rand paul you need to be able to filter that out and understand that Rand paul is not like ron paul there are two very very different creatures and how do you filter that out with principles and that's what I'm talking about is I think that you need to have a certain set of principles in your beliefs as well as your – My principle I, is I don't believe anything I'm beliefs, told. Not your religious I mean, beliefs. <laughs> I, I tend to agree with what you're saying. However, I'm, I've am i still got to say that it's just – I don't I, – This okay. So the no God, no kings thing has been the mantra of anarchists for 130 years or something. I'm no anarchist, but um, I've heard this over and over again. It's not a solution to anything. There's a yes the, to the scientific method and yes to critical thinking, but no gods and no kings is a negative, and it isn't useful. The um, the the rambling nonsense that somehow uh, you know one's you know one person's religion is the same as another person's religion, like because I am a theist that I am the same as some scimitar wa- raving lunatic with a <laughs> um, dynamite strapped around my midsection is horse crap that is laid out in front of us by atheists who think that the solution to the world's problem is to get rid of religion. If you get rid of religion, all you've gotten in its place is the same thing, which is statism. It's people believing the words of other people. that's not true. (laughs) It is true. No, the absence of religion is not statism. The absence. There are plenty of atheists, voluntarists, and atheist libertarians out there that don't believe in the state. There are plenty of athe- uh, you know, the voluntarist uh, Christians too, and how did they? How could these people possibly come to this conclusion that we would consider right, if they somehow held this wildly illogical thought of uh, a theism? Are you a proselytizing atheist? That's what Johnson? he's doing. Yeah. It's the like I am a theist, Johnson, and I am not a moron. That's all. And I, I just, it, it all sounds like that if we could just get rid of this religion, nope, that's not the solution. Getting rid of religion it's not isn't happen. the solution. I mean, it's no, once it's again, not going to happen. Absolutely right. not. I never, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't presume that it critical would. Critical thinking skills, I love that. But would I suggest that people get critical thinking skills? Yes, absolutely. But I, I, I suggest it. that people, that, that more religious people need to come to voluntarism? Absolutely. Would I suggest that more religious people need to question their religion? Yes, absolutely. Does that make me a proselytizing atheist? That I think that people need to learn to think a little better if you believe in a magic man and a talking snake and a you know, magic <laughs> apple? Yes, I think maybe, maybe it is. Maybe I'm proselytizing. Maybe Look. I'm thinking that it's a little lunat- lunatic to think in, you know, oh, this water that I go to in the church is magic. It's Let's magic water, and Lot it's going to cure me of my here. sin, my original sin. Lot is in Michigan City listening to WIMS. Hello, Lot. Good. Namaste, brother. Hey, namaste. namaste. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I wanted to say, in the idea of what you guys are talking about, I believe that it is possible to keep your quote-unquote religions and to have a free world and have the ability to live in, you know, having peaceful balance and harmony, and people don't bother. And I think what the diff- what the problem is in regards of uh, the religious um, uh, extremists, if you will, is is that they 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 see their religion and they come to you and they say, well, this individual loves you, this God loves you, and because he loves you, he's giving you a chance, and. If you choose it, you know, you can come with us. And then when they say that, well, if you don't choose us, well, then we must fight you. Well, the understanding is, is if that source loves you, no matter what you do, well, then why does it matter whether you choose to believe me or not? And as far as any proof goes of having any proof of anything, really, ultimately, I can lay out all the proof that you want, but you're not going to believe me because I don't, quote, unquote, have the the uh, the degrees, or I don't have the, the the background, if you will. Whereas, 
the reality is, is ultimately... Stand by, Lob. We're coming up here in a moment on Free Talk Live. You can take control. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. My Magic Mud is a tooth whitening powder that removes plaque and detoxifies your mouth. It's safe for your enamel, giving you a beautiful polish and a dentist light clean after every use. My Magic Mud is also the perfect remedy for pain caused by sensitivity. It strengthens your teeth and gums for a strong, healthy smile. The ingredients are 100% natural and it's safe for children. Simply brush with My Magic Mud right before bedtime for a cleaning you can count on. Visit MyMagicMud.com. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. Should you be able to earn an honest living free from senseless government interference? The Institute for Justice thinks so. That's why we've spent years defending hardworking men and women from pointless government regulations. Nationwide, IJ has created opportunity by reducing government power. But there is still more work to be done. Visit our website today at ij.org. Let IJ take care of the government so you can take care of your business. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Attention, have you been in a serious automobile accident? Then you need to call our attorneys now. We specialize in helping our clients get compensated for major auto injuries. If you've been in any type of car or motorcycle accident and you've been seriously injured, you may be entitled to significant financial compensation. Our attorneys have recovered millions and millions of dollars for injured clients. There are no out-of-pocket costs to you ever. We only receive a fee when we win your case. We are available 24-7. If you've been in an accident and been seriously injured, make this free call to our attorneys attorneys now. Call the Personal Injury Center at 800-648-9173. 800-648-9173. 800-648-9173. That's 800-648-9173. This ad is paid for by participating member law firms. We are not an attorney referral service. Representation may not be if you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything toll-free, 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. Skype on into the show at username lrn.fm. You can also join us online at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features that we give to you on the site for free. Now, if you need focus and are feeling fatigued, trying to get that extra edge when it counts, check out the Daffodil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer, offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, 
fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about how modafinil from ModUp.net is making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. Now, over at ModUp.net, they make it affordable for anyone, including you, to take advantage of the benefits of modafinil by being 80 to 85% lower in price than the brand name. But don't mistake low prices for inferior quality. They ensure that purity and potency are consistent to that of the branded version. Now, remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and ModUp.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. And ModUp.net, by the way, gives you a sweet discount if you pay with Bitcoin. You get 33% off, and whether you're paying with Bitcoin or not, use code FTL to get 10 free tablets with your order. Again, code FTL at ModUp.net for Modafinil. That's M-O-D-U-P dot net. As we go back to your phone calls and thoughts, we have Lot in Michigan City listening to W-I-M-S. Lot, uh, you barely had a chance to really get uh, a couple sentences out there in the last uh, segment. I just wanted to make sure you had a chance to uh, get your thoughts heard. Go ahead. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, what I wanted to say was is really when it comes down to what age an individual takes to be true, usually people just have a tendency of observing the messenger, and then because of whoever the messenger is, they just decide whether or not the information in which this individual is divulging is true. So if I were to tell you that I've, you know, got four PhDs, and I'm telling you that God exists, most people are going to be like, well, this guy's got some credentials, maybe he's done his research, you know, so maybe he's right. Right, they're using experts as an excuse to not critically think, right? And there are people who do that, whether it's religion or science or whatever we're talking about, politics. They go to the tire store and ask the salesman, which is the best tire for me? Yeah. Well, absolutely, that's what they're doing. They're, they're, They're taking... They're just taking somebody who says that they are an expert and taking, well, this guy's an expert, so they must know what they're talking about. They don't really take the idea to decipher the information for themselves and feel how it is and feel what it is that they're trying to get you to believe in and then determine whether or not they decide to believe it's true or not. Well, it's lazy thinking for sure, but on the other hand, you can't blame people for it because people are busy, right? I mean, they're busy with their own lives. They've got a lot. Everybody's got a lot going on, a lot of plates up in the air, whether it's taking care of kids or making sure the bills are paid at the household, going to work and all that stuff. I mean, it's hard to it's hard for anybody to sit down and say, oh, all right, well, let's see what they did over there at the Large Hadron Collider and how did all that, those experiments work? Did they create a black hole and what would be a black hole? I, mean, you know, I think there's we a lot, know. A lot to learn about that well, stuff. You know? Oh, absolutely, and I mean, I mean, it does. You know, we do have we have quote unquote a lot of things that we have to do, and there's a lot of information. And there's a lot of different subjects or topics in which we can get upon, which you don't necessarily have to go through. Really, what would pertain to you are things that would interest you the most. So, if these things interest you and these things excite you, then those things are going to be the. Then it would behoove you, you to take attention. a closer look. I'm with you there, Lon. Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate that. Maybe if you're going to be uh, regurgitating information, that would be a good time to check it out, or at the very least, cite your source. Oh, I read this on here, and that said that X Y Z was true. Not necessarily that you believe what you read, just that you'd heard that. Um, it's and it gets back to a conversation I think we were having during one of the breaks actually with Johnson about you know what uh, people see and then you know they just accept it as uh, as truth based on you know its source as uh, as that gentleman was talking about there. Our toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. That's eight five five four five zero three seven three three. J uh, Jared is in West Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. How y'all doing this hey, Jared, evening? Go ahead with your thoughts. Well, I, you know, I, I want to just say a, a few things. You know, I, I do agree with what the previous caller was saying that, you know, you should search it out yourself to see what you truly believe in. Uh, you know, my faith, uh, you know, lies on uh, with Jesus Christ. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Baptist going uh, member. I believe that so the your Word family of God is, was in- your family has a completely different belief system than you. No, no, no. My 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 oh, family. I thought you said uh, you, st- you should search it out yourself. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> I agree that everybody should should search out their their faith. Um, you know, but within myself and, and my family, you know, we we choose to believe in the Word of God, and that the Word of God was in you know was inspired by Him for for the men to write the Bible, and 
you know, the problem in the world today is, is that, you know, there's always a fight against good and evil. You look at what's going on over in the Middle East, and you look what's going on with Hamas and, and the Sharia law, there's always a battle between good and evil. And you, you, will, you will act on what is driving you the most. Now, okay, I have to see. I have to say, I totally understand where Johnson's coming from here. I mean, you called in to say that you should search, search out for what you believe in, but it sounds like you just went with the religion that you were raised in. No, you well, didn't. It, it comes, it, it comes down. You know, I was brought up in church. Yes, in, in and which kind? In what kind of church? A Baptist church? Uh, a Baptist church, sir. So yes. you did go with what you were raised in. I mean, don't say no if that's what's the truth. I did go with what I. I'll correct myself. I did go with what I was raised. But, but, much I, imagine, but, but I imagine but, that you but, feel. I imagine that you feel that if you had been born in like Pakistan or Iraq or something like that, that even if your whole family was, you know, it believed in Islam and you were brought brought up in going to Islamic churches, that you would still be a Baptist because you would have sought that out and found that on your own. You'd be a Christian Baptist to this day, even if even if you had been born and raised in that environment, that you would have found the same belief system that you currently have. Do you is think that, that's that true? accurate? I, you know what? I, I believe that the Bible says that, you know, the end won't come until every ear shall hear the word of God. And that's why there's a purpose for missionaries What's the end look to like? go to other countries. To bring to bring the, the end? end about? <laughs> you I, I mean no. what you're trying to do is you're paying people to run around the world and set off something bigger than a nuclear weapon? You know, the Bible says that you should repent for the end has come. You look <laughs> at all the battles that's going on in the world, it's all based around religion and how Christians are constantly persecuted. And well, Christians you know, are persecuted. No. You're in the United States. You don't think there's persecution in the United States for Christians? I think there's persecution that, of everybody else in the United but, States. But do you believe? Yeah, do you do you understand that like eighty percent of every human being in the United States is Christian? Identifies mildly. Like, identify Christian. like well, no there's, like there's seventy 80, seventy some some years. percent are biblical <laughs> literalists. But the thing is, eighty percent of Americans, yeah, they say that they they are Christian, but the difference is, are they truly saved? A lot of people can say they have Christian views. Yeah, I believe there's a God. I believe that there's a creator. But until you repent and that you're a sinner and that Christ needs to come I, into imaginary your life. Disease, then, imaginary disease alert. <laughs> Look, you can't, you can't throw out an imaginary disease like sin without any kind of uh, proof to it. Um, I mean. Oh, he read the Bible. You, it said so. So I, you, don't, you don't believe that. that Sin is sin, and, and that you need to repent from that. That there's a well, difference between wrong and, and right. And, and listen, well, you I won't believe be it between able to wrong and right. That. I just don't think that sin and, and right necessarily are the same. That that wrong and sin are the same thing. Right. So like, I don't believe that having sex before marriage is a problem. I think, in point of fact, it's a good thing. Well, no, well, well, well let's hold on. Some just people a might consider that a sin. Sin really isn't the problem because the the it's not believing whoever is talking's certain version of Christianity is really the problem because everybody has sin. They'll just say that you thought about it once or whatever. Um, of course, God's sinless and He knows everything. So if you can think <laughs> about something in sin, then God must be full of sin. But I don't know. That, that's beside the point. Um, so really, what it comes down to is, is believing specifically the good news, which is Jesus Christ came to save you from your sins, whatever they might be. And then that is the only sin, which is believing that or not believing that. All right. So Jared, well, and, and you know that's that's the purpose in. The whole, what the Holy Spirit plays into, you know, in letting you know that, hey, yeah, yeah I'm not living right. I don't, I need something in my life to fill this void. And I that's have a question. And that's what happened to me. Oh, all right, hang on, hang on, I, Jared, I have a void, on. too. We're going to come back with you here in moments if you can stick with us. It's Free Talk Live. Lots of things change in life. Here's one thing that has it. For over 20 years, Lumber Liquidators has been the home of unbelievable flooring deals. And right now, those deals are even better. Take your pick of gorgeous pre-finished hardwoods like cherry, oak, and hickory, or an incredible 149 a square foot, plus loads of major hardwood flooring brands at a crazy 40% off. Even get great deals on laminate, bamboo, and vinyl floors. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Special 12-month financing available. But hurry, the sale ends Tuesday. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. 
gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 357 you can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain, but maybe enough time for your call and thoughts, especially if you're already on hold. Of course, don't get in tonight. We've always got tomorrow. We do it seven nights a week, live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern time. If we're not heard live on your local radio station, just call us during those hours, and you can listen to yourself later on. Our, again, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We also have Skype at username lrn.fm. And don't forget to check out Keenvention at keenvention.info. It's your chance to check out New Hampshire and meet some of the very same activists that you hear so much about, the doers, the movers and the shakers, the people with their boots on the ground. Uh, the Keenvention is a convention and a hotel. It's intimate, very uh, small amount of people attending. Last year, about 100 uh, folks at Keenvention, so you get to kind of know everybody. And uh, the, the presentations will be given by New Hampshire-based activists on activism. Those are the various different topics, everything from being active in the legislative uh, capacity to doing direct action. We'll cover it all. Keenvention.info. Go grab your tickets now for just 60 bucks for the entire weekend. Now, you do have to do your own hotel rooms, and we got you a special hotel deal as well in the Event Hotel, which is the uh, the Sovereign Hotel, as they call it, the Best Western Sovereign Hotel. So it's happening October 31st through November 2nd. Great chance to come up and check out New Hampshire in the fall. That's, again, October 31st through November 2nd this year. 
here, Keenvention. Go to keenvention.info for more information as we go back to, uh, I believe Jared is with us still in Charleston, West Virginia, listening to WVTS. Now, Jared is a, uh, sounds like a pretty devoted Baptist and Mark, you had a question for him before he went away. Yeah, Jared. Um, yeah, I don't want you to feel jumped on or anything here, but I, I you know, I was raised in the Christian religion, and I, I you know, even into my mid twenties, I, I really found it to be sort of unsatisfying um, and where you know, like judgmental in many ways. I have a relationship with God now where. I have far more questions than I have answers, um, where I don't have this whole good and evil thing going on where I know the answers and, uh, and um, you know, I can be a warrior for Christ or whatever. So right. uh, um, I came to some conclusions, and I'm going to lead you down the primrose path here for just a moment. So um, entertain a couple of questions, if you will. So, I got gotcha. you. Uh, first off, I want to know, what do you call your God? Well, I believe that. It's, it's the Trinity. You've got the God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. We'll call him God for, for a short second. Okay. So uh, God is a fair and just God, right? Absolutely. Okay. So um, now, does the you believe that one has to believe on the name of Jesus Christ in order to be saved? Believe that Jesus Christ came to earth to die for your sins. Well, doesn't it specifically say you have to believe on his name? Absolutely. Okay. And you know that his name wasn't Jesus, right? His name was Yahshua? Well, there's several names for Jesus in the Bible, and I know that you know that. Well, I know that his He's name, Jehovah, I know Jairus, his mama Alpha named him Yahshua. Okay. And I have a real problem. I personally have a real problem with a religion that says that I have to believe on someone's name, that Jesus isn't their name. Their name is Yahshua. Like, it's a confusing thing. And my question to you isn't whether you believe this or not or whether this causes any, um, you know, any conflict in your mind, because maybe it doesn't, but it causes conflict in mine. My question to you is, is that if this causes conflict in my mind, would a fair and just God condemn me to eternal damnation for having that conflict in my mind? My father, my heavenly father, um, somebody who has a relationship with me that is deeper and more profound than my relationship with my son, is he going to throw me into an eternal lake of fire for not understanding his 2,000-year-old book? Can, can I ask you one question before I answer that? Sure. Have you accepted Christ as your Savior? Oh, you're a Baptist. That's right. Um, I have done no, it more no, than no, once. Don't, don't, don't doubt me for being a Baptist. Let's throw, let's throw denomination out. Okay. Yes, okay? I have, I I have asked Jesus did. Christ into my heart more than one time. Then you are saved. That's right. And, and if, there is a, if there is a conflict— Can I blaspheme I the Holy Spirit? Because <laughs> I'll do it right here. <laughs> Well, then you've committed the unpardonable sin. There you go. Holy Spirit, <laughs> you've got he stinky his, shoes. He knows his stuff, man. Excellent. Great. I made a YouTube video where but, I did that. Because, because listen, I mean, li listen, you, you cannot be a born-again Christian and sit and mock the Bible. You cannot be a fair and just God and send your children to hell for, believing, for, for not believing your mixed-up, convoluted old book. Do you, do you do you not think that there there's always there's always parameters within any religion? Look at Sharia law. Look at any religion. I don't have to look you at their religion. I have my own. But you seem to be confused about your own. I'm not confused about my own. Um, I he's believe... not a Christian. When you said you let Jesus into your heart, you meant in the past. You're in no the longer. Past. You're no longer of those particular no. belief systems. I just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Said he had stinky shoes. <laughs> So do you, do you not think that it's possible for the devil to have influence on a Christian's life? To I don't think the devil is possible. Confusion. Well, you never answered this question. I believe in a good universe. You, you never, Mark, um, Jared never answered your question. He won't answer the question. Jared, do you recall do the I question? Do I believe that you do you? Do I believe? Do you Holy believe? Spirit? No. Do I believe? Do you believe that a fair and just God would send me to hell for not believing His mixed-up, convoluted old book? That's a difficult question to answer because you're telling me that you've been saved. And so, therefore, I, I have hadn't? to ask the question, why do you not believe? If you're not saved, yeah, you're going to hell. 
Absolutely. Just to clarify, I, I guess I don't understand about the whole saving thing. So if Mark was saved in the past, but then he decided to reject many of those teachings, to reject uh, many of the you know the stories in the Bible after the whole saving thing, would he still be saved? I believe once you're saved, you're always saved. Unless you blaspheme also... the Holy Spirit? Is that the only way out of being saved, is to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, or is there another way out of it? The Word of God says about blaspheming the Holy Spirit. So just to be clear, if I get saved by Jesus, you can go on then I could then go on a murder spree and I'd be all right. Do you not believe that sin is sin? I'm just trying to clarify that what the rules I, that are. If, here. That if, that if, if I lie <laughs> or if I go out and murder people, yeah, to man's eyes, there's a huge difference in the crime. Mm -hmm. But in God's eyes, sin is sin. You know this. You know the Bible. So well, you are saying that somebody Ian doesn't really know the Bible that well. So <laughs> I, yeah, I've read the Quran, but not the not the whole Bible. Anyway, um, so what you are saying, just to be clear, you're saying that somebody who's saved, who accepts Jesus in as their Lord and Savior, at that point can then just go ahead and sin uh, without any kind of consequence. Well, the consequences is man's consequences, right? But like no no eternal consequences for for sinning at that point. We have consequences that if we don't repent of our sins, uh -huh. God will do something to get our attention. And I, I, I know that from experience. I do. Listen, I've not always lived a perfect life. I sin every day. I have thoughts that I shouldn't have thoughts of. But I know through the Holy Spirit that I know that my thoughts are not right. And that I know that, that the decisions that I make sometimes are not always the best So decisions. if you act on one of those thoughts and you commit a sin, let's say, you know, you kill somebody. Again, I don't advocate well, doing I'm those not, things. Well, I'm not going to do that. But let's, no, me neither. Because but let's, just, let, say you, let let's whole... just say you were to, someone were to kill someone after being saved and they do not mm -hmm. repent. Do they then go to hell? No. Interesting. Thanks well, for the call tonight. That's what Fascinating stuff. Once I, I don't. I, well, I, that's why I'm asking questions. I don't. I don't know what. Uh, I know. You know they believe. Let's continue here and go to Jason uh, in Louisville, Texas, or Louisville. Hello, Jason. You're on Free Talk Live. Hi, first time caller, first time listener here. How Welcome. are you? You go are ahead. shocked. Go ahead with your thoughts. We're short <laughs> on time, so I'm afraid it'll have to be brief. All right, MMA fighter. Um, Entertainer, girlfriend, gets beat up. Christy what do you Mack. say? What do you, what? War Machine. That's right. Yes. What are we talking about here, Johnson? I'm talking about butt. War Machine. He is an MMA fighter who beat the hell out of his girlfriend. He was Yikes. doing it in self-defense. Didn't you see the news article? Oh, really? No, he could. How could he possibly beat no. up this little woman in self-defense? He she was little. He's said many things about uh, how he's raped her repeatedly. Oh my goodness, it's okay. horrifying. Well, they may have some fetishized thing. Let's let's let her bring charges. Well, right. Obviously, I didn't know uh, this girl was little. For all I know, she was beating on him. He's, he's an not MMA uncommon. fighter. So how do you know she's not a boxer? I don't know. I mean, there's, it's not uncommon for women to beat on men too. It's, Domestic violence works both ways. Thanks, Jason. We're short on time. Call us another time. We certainly appreciate it. Brian is in Nashua. Brian, you're on Free Talk Live via Skype. Hey, guys. I'm mean, Well, seeing as the previous call, it did seem to take up some time. The uh, thing he was looking for when he with this initial point where he said, oh, people should you know think for themselves and not rely on the experts, that's called an ad veracundium fallacy. Um, and... I mean, I, this is a, this is a conversation that I'll probably have to continue with you guys tomorrow because. It's, so thinking for no yourself way. is a fallacy. I would like to hear more about that. That sounds unusual. Let me. It, it, well, just because it, you come to upon conclusion. elaboration is how it's used. Yeah, just because you come to a conclusion on your own doesn't mean your conclusion is oh, right. Yeah, I got <laughs> you there. Hey, thanks for the call tonight, Brian. Appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow. FreeTalkLive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas 
of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 14th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,313, silver opened at $19.86, and Bitcoin is trading around $511.50. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Incorporated, specializing in precious metals since 1977. Online at rrbi.co or by phone at 800-874-9760. In the news, throughout Wednesday night, social media exploded with videos and images of militarized police facing off with reporters and protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. The Washington Post and Huffington Post reported that their reporters were violently removed from a McDonald's while attempting to cover the scene. The Huffington Post Ryan J. Riley said the police were acting as a military force and slammed his head against a glass window during the arrest. The officers refused to identify themselves. Protesters reported tear gas canisters being fired and the LRAD sound cannon being used. Vigils turned to protests as looting and rioting followed the shooting death of 18-year-old Michael Brown at the hands of an unidentified police officer. Cell phone data used in court has recently come under fire. According to the Washington Post, federal judges have ruled that the analysis of cell phone records was not scientifically valid or reliable in locating people, in part because investigators have overstated its accuracy. One such judge released a woman wrongfully imprisoned for 12 years based on vague cell phone triangulation data. While judges are actively overturning many convictions based on cell phone data, the FBI is pushing to expand its team of cell phone analysts and has trained over 5,000 state and local investigators in the methodology. Federal prosecutors are seeking to have all of the alleged conspirators of the September 11th attacks tried together. On July 24th, Army Colonel James Pohl ruled that Ramsey bin al Sheib should be tried separately because legal issues with his case were holding up the other defendants from being tried. Prosecutors are asking the judge to hear arguments for their emergency motion at a pretrial hearing at Guantanamo Bay Naval Base in Cuba. The 9-11 trials have been plagued with delays, media censorship, and accusations of interference from federal agencies. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud, all-natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from the notorious activist Michael Cargill. He has a new show called Come and Talk It, live Sunday afternoons at 4 on 1370 AM in Austin. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, August 14th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. New York City Councilwoman and public advocate-elect Letitia Tish James has called for a pilot program that would require law enforcement to wear body cameras as a check on police misconduct. A study conducted in Rialto, California, has shown strong statistical evidence that body cameras help to protect citizens from police abuse. According to the New York Times, the Rialto body cameras reduced the number of complaints filed against officers by 88% in the first year. In the same time period, use of force by officers fell by nearly 60%. 
The Associated Press reports that a spokesperson for the New York City Police Department has announced that a feasibility study is being conducted regarding the implementation of body cameras within the department. A new study says expecting mothers who lived near the site of the World Trade Center Towers collapse on September 11, 2001, were more likely to give birth prematurely and have babies with lower than average birth weights. The study by Janet Curry and Hannah Schwant of Princeton University says expecting mothers may have experienced complications from inhaling dust as a result.